basketball, gimme, gimme, gimme the ball because I'm gonna dunk it. Basketball, gimme, gimme, gimme the ball because I'm gonna dunk it. Basketball, gimme, gimme, gimme the ball because I'm gonna dunk it. Okay. Welcome to Axe to Grind. Uh, definitively, no questions asked, without debate, mm-hmm. the hardcore podcast mm-hmm. of record. That's right. You're getting good at that. I'm Patrick. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. Uh, and you may have guessed. Is, now explain this to me. Uh, pardon. Yeah. Is this the last Mosh Madness? This is the last Mosh Madness where we're going to talk about records until we do the finale. Oh, okay. Now we can also, I, I threw out the idea the idea of doing a what got missed i think that would actually be kind of fun it like would. what what records kind of should have made this that didn't sure and maybe by we'll do our a little, own by our ranking, own standards or, yeah. yeah by our standards what we think yeah. kind of or you know and i'll i'll share what just missed in terms of what got voted for cool. yeah. but also stuff that's like yo this wasn't on radar but this is really somehow good. yeah that's the everybody yeah. gets mad at patrick podcast because my takes going to melt this motherfucker. I <laughs> know. Oh, so this is you the want last the Stephen A Smith of Oof. You think? Maybe. Stephen A goes in and out of being a villain. Do I go in and out of being a villain? Yeah, Kinda. yeah, you do. Okay, totally. Right, because uh Stephen A. Though. You'll ride for random things. Yeah. Sh- shout out to Andy Norton from Praise who said, "I find myself disagreeing with Patrick all of the time." <laughs> Until <laughs> Until you guys talk about minor threat, and then I'm like, okay, we're all good again. <laughs> right shout right out to <laughs> shout out to Andy. Uh, I think that's almost everyone's view of this podcast. You're like, mm. oh, that dude's kind of suspect. A little, yeah. bit. A little bit. suspect. A little bit. Fuck all you people. Uh, I, I, that's you know, is we it, had to do like th- a pie. Those chart. are the texts that you're getting. A little bit. Yeah. Stephen like, oh, A is a great place dude. No, yeah. fucking. I'll got be a better a. haircut than. I'll Stephen be Stephen A. a. Yeah, he does. Uh, I like when Stephen A. goes off on one. I think he's pretty entertaining. Absolutely. That's all way better than me. He yeah. he's a grinder, man. No, no, he works. He's he on works. everything. He works everything. Yeah. yeah, and that's even the people in the building at Bristol are saying like, "Yo, oh, he don't right. stop. He's yeah. he's there. He's on. It's like oh, he's got hits at seven, and then he's like, I'm doing my hour long podcast. Then he goes and does live radio. It's insane. I, th- I think he gets that if you if you are omnipresent, mm-hmm. then you become nothing you say can ever be truly because he his predictions have been worse than mine Trash. Like, like wildly wrong yeah, he's like worse than a weatherman <laughs> he's terrible yeah. and but you can't hold it against him because he issues one of those every seven hours so right so, so it's kind of like so you you're forget saying about, yeah. you're saying Stephen a is the son of mentor brother of eros yes he is thanos I'm sa- yeah, yes okay. so so he's like he's pretty much like the current president that it's like Hey, there's so much shit that you forget. Yep. The it li- slides right off because right. it's just more Doesn't shit. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Not, it, nothing sits for more than a yep. seven-hour news cycle. Yeah, right. I, for, I, for most presidents, this is the worst day of their presidency. Yeah. For Trump, it's, it's just Tuesday. the Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Hasn't, hasn't even reached him. Um, okay, so this is the last March Madness episode till we do the finale, which is on the <laughs> day of the NCAA championship, which Ooh. is fun. So we're we picking who's going to be in the finals, not of this. Of actual March Madness. Oh fuck! We I gotta wait till next week to think about that. I I haven't paid much attention to college this year. I'm rooting. Okay? Yeah, I'm rooting for Duke. I'm just gonna. Ask oh yeah, I yeah. Want Zion. Zion. Yeah. You know what? I want Zion. I want uh, Duke versus Murray State, so we can see John Morant versus Zion. I'd ask my father, but he he picks with his heart, man. He's he, so do I, and I lose every time. Yeah, okay. I, I, right. yeah. Right. it's just Sienna yeah, yeah. every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every year. He's this is the year, Patrick. Hey, Sienna versus you. Buffalo. Every We're gonna year. do it. Hey, you visited your fa- your dad. How was how was he? It was my mother and his anniversary, and they bickered like fucking assholes. And I, so you're saying they bickered like an old married couple? Yes, like an oh, old weird. married couple. On their anniversary, and, weird. Uh, <laughs> Are they Irish? Uh, mm. My father certainly is. <laughs> uh, my mother, we learned secret Italian. Secret Italian. Uh, but the new label? Uh, secret, secret Italian, Canadian. exactly right. Secret Italian um, is, a, is a identified culture. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Secret uh, Italian. Find out later, late in life you're Italian. Um, so... Uh, but they, I mean, you know, they love each other and all that bullshit, but like I really underlined, oh yeah, if, if he was in the house, I'd be sick of his ass. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, so, right. uh, does make the hardcore fun. for That's sure. True. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, uh, nice visit. Nice visit. You bring um, him his Yankee schedule. Yo, I went to the public library. The printer at the house wasn't working. I went to the public library to, to, Use their computer to blow up the thing I, yeah. the, to, I sent you like a PDF of it. 
Yeah, oh, did you? Oh, but yeah. you sent the the one that's like all the whole schedule on mm-hmm. one image. Is that yes. right? Yeah, yeah. So he his he bl- wanted the calendar. His blind old ass Want needs the big. Sure, mm-hmm. sure, sure. So uh, it's actually a matter of great stress because he was so happy with the job that I did. But I said, oh, here it comes. But but I said, hey. This is uh, preseason and April, and if this is the right size, you let me know, and I'll get you the I'll get you the rest, rest. of the year. Sure. Uh, and he hits me. and He's like, "It's very important you get you get me the rest of the year." And I said, "Yeah, no, I will." Is that the right size? He's uh, like, "No, but uh, I need uh, I need it now." And I was like, "What do you need to f- send it to me? I'll do you need work. Do you need to know what the game is in June right now? Yeah. Right uh-huh. now, that dude is betting cigarettes, man. <laughs> no, can't gamble. Can't gamble. Even, can't gamble. Like, can you really not gamble? No, you can definitely. Get, in yeah. prison, all you can do yeah, is gamble, gamble, but he's right. just in recovery. He can't. But, oh, yeah. he can't. Oh, okay. But, okay, 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 okay. but the, uh, uh, to him, it's like, he's living for those goddamn Yankee games. You right, know he's going to do like the Mike Francesa, like figure out, like, oh. I'm going to go 22 and 7. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's doing month by month, yeah, looking like, at yes, what they're going to have the to records, do. records, yes. like, trying to like project who's, who's a starter on May 14th. You want to talk about picking with your heart? I said, you're not that enthusiastic about the prospects this year. He's like, this is the year, baby. He's like, he's, he's like, he's like, we're going, we're be. killing it. It might be. You know what I, mean? I have no faith. No, no. Faith. I mean, I'm a Met fan, so I hope it doesn't happen. Uh, well, to me, I for for our listeners that don't give a fuck about sports, um, <laughs> I was. Yeah, a, this is for, to the dude who hit us on Twitter. And was like, stop talking about American sports. Mm, we're sorry. going in. Okay, so I was an invested Yankee fan for about three years, and then realized from that six to ninety eight. Well, uh, no, if we're talking Front about runner. if we're talking about that era, yeah. Well, actually, what, oh, you were young. You were. What was the era? Right. What was the era? With the winning era? Era before that? Um, the seventies. No, no, Don like Mattingly, Don Mattingly, 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 Mattingly era. Mattingly, yeah. Mattingly era. So okay. So Field. obviously, as a little chick kid, right. when you got Don Mattingly, you got like. Right. It, I mean, but also the Mets. Were, but it was also rough. There were some rough <laughs> years there. The the J, the J Moss, uh, Kev, Kevin, Kevin Moss, Moss yeah. era. That's the well. well Ooh, the, sure. the Mets during that time were equally exciting. That was exciting. Yo, the, the Mets owned New York. Yeah, that was the exciting. Mets owned New York, and I'd say upstate, 50 50 split. Really? I, I had 50, the. I had the uh, pool is so exciting. Do you remember yeah, the Daily News had, had the full page uh, illustrations? Yes, uh, and amazing. I had Daryl Strawberry. You know, Absolutely. Like I, you, you're one of those. How yeah. could you not like Daryl Strawberry? Oh, no. I still like him. It was his birthday the other day. <laughs> no shit. He Shout out now, to the straw. I think he was born in 62. The straw that stirred mm. the so he's city. Like 57 years old. So here's the thing. Anyway, no, uh, I, um, who, fuck, uh, the year that the Yankees Dave had, uh, no, I'm talking about the years that I was invested, no, I uh, were, uh, god damn, an Asian pitcher that I, that, Chin Ming Wong? And every, oh. Hideki Arabu. Uh, everything no, it's resulted, the young guy. everything resulted in a ground ball, and it, like, it, and I loved watching how small, was he a Yankee? He, he yes, how small he made because that was the era where Derek Jeter sucked, but was still jumping 12 feet in the air for sure, every sure, fucking sure. catch. So it was a very exciting period. Oh. At any rate, here's what I learned about myself during okay. that period. Is I became the dude that it was impacting my mood. If oh, it, yeah. it, <laughs> when I wake yep, up yeah, in the morning yeah. and I hear the Mets lost, I'm like, God damn it. And, and so... They were the Yankees were still doing well when I when I dropped out, but I realized oh this impacts my mood in the way that I see it impact my father's mood. I don't want to be that fucking old man. I do love sports. Right. Though, man. Kay Igawa? No, no. Okay, I'm getting a bunch. Um, anyways, uh, is that Andy? Yeah, of course. I'm thinking uh, Ching Meng Wong. That's what I said. That's, that's what he said. One. But that's it's not a- Hideki Arabu. No, 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 no. Who, who George Steinbrenner so nicely called a fat toad? Yeah, right, right, right. And he ended up killing himself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No, well, it wasn't the fat He died moment. like Ugh. young. Uh, was this kid Korean? He was good. Anyway, I loved wa- I loved watching it because just everything was starter reliever starter. But it, it was oh, do you know what years this was? What? Who's who's my man? That uh, every <laughs> sports with guys that eh, <laughs> I don't know. A Rod? No, no, no. It was A Rod's era. Uh, okay, so it's after. God damn! What? What? Who's the kid? Oh that, yeah, we used to watch it at the apartment. Who's the was, kid that got hit with all the midges? Remember the midges? Oh, Job Job Okay, that Jabba 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 Jabba. Jabba. that era. That era. So he's he's like oh eight eight oh seven oh eight oh nine two thousand ten. Not all right. So it's Mariano. Jabba <laughs> Jabba Jabba. Let's say. Look, we're going to be struggling through this, everybody. Um, uh, but, but the other note here is apparently the Yankees oh, okay. did receive a pretty good pitcher, like decent starter from the the Blue Jays, younger guy. Do you know this? They signed him? All right. Uh, yeah, I think so. Anyways, they, they have a chance this year, but the Red Sox are really strong. 
It is. It, really it, strong. It, it was Ching Ming Wong. Ching Ming Wong. Um, okay. Right. There we go. There it is. Boom. So, um, Let's start with our sponsors. Yes, please. Sorry to, sorry to everybody that has no interest in sports. That was a rough one. Uh, look, uh, who are we going to start with today? Let's do... What do they call? What do they call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Uh, the guy and the other guy running. three running. fingers on one hand. Uh, yeah, the B, 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 B uh, <laughs> okay, triple yeah. B, triple right. B. Triple B. Uh, purveyor, <laughs> purveyor of fine hardcore goods, you know the deal. Uh, how does is, how is that ghost man shit go? Fucking sold a bunch. Okay. So for everybody that's been keeping abreast of this, possibly through my Twitter, possibly through uh, Worst Possible Timeline, uh, I'm in... Through my Twitter or Worst Possible Timeline, not through the Axe to Grind Twitter. No, not well, you, got, you, you, know, you don't want this out there, but you, okay. uh, people have been watching me in crisis, in free fall, my, life, my life not going mm-hmm. great. So I actually, when the, oh. ghost, when the ghost main shit was all popping and everybody was talking about it, I was like, I got, I got shit to attend. I can't fuck. So yeah. I have no idea. How'd that all play out? The puddle of well, tears cleared up or what? Yeah. You know, Mr. You Crybaby? Slipped. No, I'm st- the tears are stored in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, what ha- no, um, people who were big mad about it. If you were big mad some about people. Ghostman? Yeah, there were some. No, like, let's be, we, we the honest, most yeah. honest hardcore podcast. The transparent podcast. The people who had problems with it, look at it this way. What else does Triple B put out? Uh, every fucking hardcore, hardcore band, record. Like, come on, man. So if this is funnel into those profits, which it is, yeah, be stoked. This and means be he's able to do a little bit more. Right. And let's be honest. The dude approached Sam. Mm-hmm. So it's not like, you know, it wasn't a bidding war. It was like that dude was like, yo, I want to work with that guy. And they, he, and you they know made it mean? happen. Shout out. Right. So that's fucking cool. So, so shout out to that. Hardcore dude. The anxious record is either up for pre-order or will be at some point in the not too distant <sighs> I future. Got, I still got to listen to this. You guys are so fucking excited about yeah, it's it. That's cool. It, it, People cool. tripping out online about it. Pat Flynn is fucking. Like, he's into I, it. I expect yeah. him to text me in the middle of the night, being like, "You know, anxious is good, right?" Like he he, does, he's yeah. really about this shit. So you should go get the promo tape. You can stream it on everything and uh, support Recorded that band. By our friend Sean Kenny. Mm, shout out to Sean Kenny. Mm. And um, yeah, so you should enter. We do have a promo code. Yeah, undeniably, uh, no debate, uh, the best promo code. Which is? Oh, uh, it is Axed Grind. Is that with an E? It is with an E. If you were to spell it out, would it be with an E? It is. Got it. Spell it out, include the E, 10% off, triplebrecords.limitedrun.com. Pick up that ghost main record. Pick up that ghost main record. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what the fuck that sounds like. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe you should buy one and check it out. I'll buy it. Yeah, there you go. Fuck it. Pick it up. A lot of good uh, quality textiles Sam's been throwing out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, he's cars, up, he's up yeah. in his game. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah. he's becoming like a little textile we playboy. You, we see you. All right. <laughs> and Oh, yeah. We see you. Death Wish. Oh, mm-hmm. Death Wish. Mm-hmm. Now, again, I've been out of the world. You've, mm-hmm. You guys have noticed that my text messaging is terrible. I'm just... It's I, been bad. Yeah. Really bad. Yeah, Your yeah, Twitter yeah. has started to pick back up. But that's mania. You, yes, see, you see me like, I, tweet I like 11 things in a row. It's because... Like, I th- count and I go, this motherfucker can't respond to one text message. Well, Please a send- thought hits me and I'm like, oh, I got to aggressively maybe abuse people with like, my uh, fucking text yeah. or with my uh, tweets. Maybe don't release every thought. Yo, it's... I, I'm it's a healthy. Editing. It's a healthier spot for him mentally. I don't. I worry when the the ideas stay in there, right? But some of the ideas, when they're, I'm like, they're, yeah, be. <laughs> <laughs> Think about what that idea sounds like if it just bounces around in that dumpster. You know I what th- I mean? Dumpster fire. I think. Your brain. I think full transparency is the model. Mm, mm. All right, Liam Neeson style. Yeah, it worked out. Well. <laughs> how, how did his last movie do? How's your next record gonna do after mm. you're like? What about other stuff? Uh, show Tom the picture you want to use for the next self defense record. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll show it. Okay. Good. Good. Um, uh, so Death Wish. Speaking of Death Wish, Death Wish uh, label that put out quite a few self defense records. Yes. Let's talk about it this way. What I actually got shared uh, some of the new projects that Death Wish is working on. <laughs> oh, you are allowed. Cool. You're allowed behind the fucking curtain. Tom I was and I, are I have fucking, no idea. We're outside the uh, gates. It's still a ways off. I will. I will share a little bit. But so they're putting out very exciting outside the gates. Is mm-hmm. what they're putting out. The, the, it's the, like a project, a, pro, uh, uh, a tribute n- to uh, the gates. No, uh, outside the gate, the uh, bad Killing Joke record. They're Got they're it. reissuing it's it. It's a Cemetery Gates actually. It's <laughs> like a Smiths cover band <laughs> thing. It's with like a Pantera singer. Yeah, with a Pantera singer. Andy ran into the guy who took the picture of the snake on the Pantera record in the woods today. What? And it's not just like some, it's like, oh, hey, Jim, you know, it's his buddy. 
Really? Snake friends. Snake friends. <laughs> How to, Andy, this episode's all for you. Yes. Yankee talk. Sports with and herpetology. Snakes. We got you. Um, herpetology. Was there a record that came out mm. during your tenure as a Death Wish Inc. recording artist mm. that you maybe were jealous of or were like, damn, they nailed it? And we'll exempt Bitter End because you big up. Yeah, yeah. I can probably guess one. Mm. Yeah, I know you it's can. It's going to be a blacklist. It is. It's got to be. It okay, is. let's exempt blacklisted. Uh, okay, too. then let's exempt blacklisted. I think mm-hmm. that the final Rise and Fall record came out yes. well, uh, well during my band's tenure at Death Wish. And that record is better than anybody who tried that same thing. Yeah, so, 100%. so without naming names, you know what? There's a couple bands I want to throw under the bus because I feel like they secret suck and we and people and people are just and no no Uh, although i do really think one life crew is overrated like there's people absolutely are there's people that hit me that are like look this is just great hardcore put the message out of your mind and and, yes and (laughs) you you, you know me i can fucking that's gonna be the the, next merch we make fast and loose loose with the term great there's no artist i can't separate from you know it don't matter to me but but we'll talk about that on the rambler i don't think that's great no i just don't think it's great no S- spoiler confront wasn't that great either no, no. spoiler yeah <laughs> no. give me integrity um, or give me death so Ooh. so here's that's the deal shirt um too. god damn you're thanks. rolling uh, a lot of people were trying things in the rise and fall realm yeah realm. you're right you're totally right there was a little bit of a wave because i've been made enough hey and yes. uh especially and in the right. states Definitely for a, for a band from Europe to hit, oh, make yeah. that much of an impact, they were the probably the biggest non U.S. band in the U.S. at that time. Yeah, uh, no, uh, uh, well, uh, hardcore, hardcore, hardcore. hardcore. They, not like fucking like right, Broadway Drive. Sure, right, the conversation but, often hits like they they could have been touring with acts that would have made them much bigger, but they chose to be a hardcore band. Sure, sure, and, sure. And like There's had they gone that, yeah. right. But uh, but it's interesting to think about how much more sonic impact they would have had because I think we're, yeah. we saw it. They, there was bands who tried to do their sound. And how many times have you seen that Rise and Fall shirt with Ghent Belgium? Yo, it's it's, uh, it's they one, they it's redid it. Shirt. Yeah, they're they're up for pre order right now. Hopefully by the time you hear this, it's still up. Oh no shit! But yeah, they're they're doing something you should order. And it's reasonable shipping price from Europe. It, I'm gonna really? I'm getting one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I uh, get in on that. All right, we'll do we'll double up that record is of a style that I was tired of by the time that record came out. And I still think that that record is Absolutely. really very good. So pick that one up. What, 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 what the fuck's that called? I can see the, the art in my mind, but I don't know what the fuck well, it's called. Well, the, the art is cool because it's one of those sleeves that pulls out mm. and it's a die cut. Um, the, the Rise and Fall discography is not flawless, but I, I love, I love um, this, this, this the second, the Into Oblivion record. The last record is called Faith. Okay. So get Faith, get Our Circles ver- Vicious, Into Oblivion is my favorite. Faith might make the, uh, man, why didn't this make the Mosh Madness tournament conversation? Yeah. You know, it's a lot of, a lot of, it's a lot to talk about there. A lot to talk about. So we'll do that episode. Uh, Deathwishing.com. Enter the promo code. Axe to grind. And you're going to need to... Yeah, it's, it's, it's requisite. Spell it out. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's where we're at. So let's, uh, let's jump into Mosh Madness. Let's motherfucking do it. What do we got? Uh, the final uh, round. Did we, final. It's the final Ooh. countdown. Are you, are you guys going to cop to this being a bit of a grueling uh, bracket? Uh, I got to be honest, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. But some surprises, as always. Yeah. I'm just going to go through all the matchups and then we'll start at the top as we do. King Nine Scared to Death. Oh, it's tough. Versus No Warning Torture Culture. It's tough, but also sort of chic. I love your ad libs. Zabalba, Hasta La Muerte. No, it's just that, like, it's that rumble, you know? It's fucking hard. Yeah. Versus Turnstile Time and Space. Mm, it's a bit funky. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> Freedom USA Hardcore. A lot of classic sounds there. Versus God's Hate Mass Murder. Chant. <laughs> Weekend Nachos, Worthless. Not Worthless. Versus Soul Search, Bury the Blame. Mm, uh, I want to launch right into that, but I won't. Let's, let's start at the top. Starting from the top. King Nine, Scared to Death, released on Mass Movement Records. 2013. Damn. It's 28 minutes. <clears throat> I got... Run times on these ones. I like that. Yeah. 
So our our take on each one has to be less than twenty, like less I don't than know. the runtime. Like, like that would be weird. That's a good challenge. Yeah. Well, the soul search yeah. is only eight minutes, so we can just oh cool. All right, maybe we make it a fraction. I watch a lot version. of YouTube. Like what's a, what's going on in the new Avengers trailer yeah. kind of shit. So and they were like, "What'd you think of it? The new trailer?" I'm pretty fucking psyched. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a really good. I movie. you know what though? I'm speaking. All right, we're gonna go on a yeah. Please, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm doing Patrick for yeah. a second as a colorblind gentleman. Uh huh. But I think irrespective of that. I would kill to see those movies in black and white. Oh, that's a really they interesting look beautiful idea. Beautiful black really and white cuz like so when they used all the old footage, oh, everything was, was in black and white. and white with just streaks of red. And I was like these movies like the when oh, they Oh, that's sh- a really good idea. They show like the snap like the whatever the fuck decimation yeah. happening. It, like they show um what's oh fuck what's the not Black Widow the other woman. Gamora? No, the uh, the Russian woman. That's in love with uh, Scar- Black, Scar- Widow. Scar- uh, Black Widow is the Russian, Scar- but you're thinking, oh, you mean, you're thinking uh, Scarlet, Witch. Scarlet Witch. Yeah, yes, yeah, and like they show her kind of disintegrating in black and white. It's beautiful, really. Mm. Like it's just like they did um, Mad Max in black and white. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's a same really. Idea. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Do you know about all the color work that apparently they put into uh, uh, Infinity War? I do not. Okay, so I just saw this whole thread about it. Uh, go back and watch the Gamora scenes. A lot of oranges in the background, and it's kind of this bright light color. Mm. And in all of her interactions with Thanos, there's supposedly this like love. He loves her yeah. dynamic, but she's glowing orange. But whenever he's on, it's dark or dark purple. Right, so it's like aura is right. And yeah. then it's even at the end scene. So no spoilers for somebody who didn't see this movie that made several billion dollars. Mm. Uh, but they're going up in the Soul Gem, and they're going up this tower. And there's a scene where literally Thanos blocks out the only light, which is an orange sun, and he blocks it out, and then all of a sudden everything's dark. And interesting. it's I've interesting never been so work. excited for a movie. No shit, I think in my entire life. I think it's going to be really good. It's going to be fucking gigantic. I'm not going to be able to see it for like the first like month, mm. just because it's going to be sold out. Everywhere. Oh, true. But I think I'm really excited to see how this. Comes Can out. we live podcast from the Avengers movie a month in? Uh, yeah, probably. No, oh. you'll be so mad. You'll be like, you guys can't fucking talk through this movie. I would. Okay. But there'll still be people there. But what if we... I'll see if I can bootleg it. That's what... What if we're bootlegging it and recording a podcast? It's people <laughs> telling Shabu, we're like, you know, and we get confrontational with them. Um, Have you ever seen What's Happening? The show. Remember What's Happening? The show from the 70s? No. Oh, oh, yeah. Or like rerun. Yeah, rerun, never, yeah. You ever watched the one when... You are older, so you might have seen it when they bootlegged the Doobie Brothers? <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> so rerun is a big guy, but he's a dancer. So he's like dancing to the Doobie Brothers, and he has a giant ass like old school 1977 That's like so tape good. recorder as he's bootlegging, and it falls out of his jacket. The Doobie Brothers, of course, see it and they bust him. So they go back to the guy who's like the bootlegger who sells everything, and they play the tape back, and all you hear is rerun eating popcorn, and he goes, <laughs> and he goes, "I'm going to jail for some fat kid eating popcorn." <laughs> I feel like that's what fucking That's watching the Avengers would be. Yo, us getting into an altercation, like, hey, guy. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really... Keep it down, guys. Yeah. Hey, shut up, you. Shut up. It's been out for a month, you dweeb. Whatever. You saw it twice. We're just watching it for the first time and podcasting. <laughs> so, okay, guys. This is going to be... Are you ordering tickets? Right? No, this is going to oh. be torture. I, I wanted to reference a place in New York that we could go to the smallest, shittiest mm. movie theater, and hopefully there'd be nobody there. I know a spot. But help me out. What There is an actual, like, formally fishing community... In New York, oh, it's in. I want to say it's the it's it's at the mouth of the Bronx River, but I don't yeah. remember what the fuck it is. Am I thinking of Shorehaven? Am I thinking of the, there? No, it's not Mott Haven. No, I don't think so. Mott Haven is here, but no, it, it, a friend of mine lived there for a short time, and it was like you need you That's needed City Island. You needed a car to get around. Uh, was it City Island? Where's where is City Island? Up there, it's up in the Bronx general area. Uh, let's see. Um, I feel like it's like like. <clears throat> Fishmongers. Cretona Park. Now, where the fuck was this? But the one down near the Trade Center, you can always get in. Okay. Oh, interesting. Like, I saw Spider-Man, like, the first night it was out. No like, shit. That's, that makes sense. Down there. No one lives there. there. Yeah. And rich um, people don't go to movies. Yeah. No. They, they, they have oligarch pleasures. <laughs> but <laughs> they have people come and, mm-hmm. and, and play it out. In yes, precisely. True. I have your new career for you. Please. Mm. If my YouTube watches or any indication. Oh. Yeah. If you... So you have the mind for this and the talent for it. Oh, thank you. These motherfuckers who just go like, I watched this 17 times and here are the Easter eggs in the background. Oh, yeah. I watched, a lot of those views. There's a dude, his, 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 his channel's called like New Rockstars or whatever. Mm. He's a nondescript chubby white dude 
literally he did one last week. It's up to 3.4 million yep. watches. Yep. And it's literally just him in front of a blue screen. Yep. You I, just have to like look for every like little thing. And yep. he'll be like, that's he's wearing the, the suit that he wore in this comic book. Like you have to be that the Ronin level. suit, yep. The it's, Ronin suit. Yo, Jeremy Renner's hair in that one shot oh, is very, ludicrous. Very Akira. <laughs> well, now they're saying... What the fuck is that? That scene where he's with the kid mm-hmm. shooting the arrows. Yeah. It's literally the first scene of the movie. And mm-hmm. the snap and he happens as that happens. And he watches his, his daughter, whole family yeah. die. That his whole sense. family. Because his family's sense. in the back. And the, But she's Kate Bishop. So, supposed to be Kate supposed Bishop. To be. Yes. So she but, is obviously... They're setting her up to Hawkeye. be the next Hawkeye. Yeah. Like, right. And then they're talking he's, about Captain And then he'll be Hawkeye. Oh, yeah. Bucky. Is it possible that I'm thinking of Barreto Point? Could be. I've never Is heard it, of it, so no it's feasible. Anyway, sorry. So, everybody. Mosh Madness. Yes, please. Let's get Welcome into it. Let's diversions. get into it. <laughs> King Nine scared to death. Oh, yeah. Scared to death! Yo, so, uh, spoiler. I really like this record. Yes. Lots of riffs. Yes. yes. Um, I am going to say that I... So, you guys have noticed I'm all over the place on King Nine. Mm-hmm. I... When they were taking forever to put out the record, I was were, sick yeah, of it. You were, yeah, you sick were of them. bouncing on I them. I was sick of them. Mm-hmm. And, and it came out. And, 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 and so You gave it a headphone listen. And, well, then I became like, okay, you know what? It's coming out. I'm, yeah. back, I'm back in the nine pocket over here. Right, I'm, yeah. I'm with it. Uh, this, I went and revisited, and I was just in the mood for this, clearly, because I really enjoyed it. I'm and in the in past, the when nine. I would hear it, I'd be like, yeah, look. This is good, but mm-hmm. I I know every fucking thing they're doing. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like sure. th- like it's just too. Here's my hot take. Yeah, it's not really a hot take. And if you have ears, it's mm-hmm. not okay. A hot yeah, take. please. They're way better than anything that they're uh, attributing. Their kind of all the bands that they're sort of like looking towards, mm. they're better than them. Like what? the bands that they attribute yeah. their sound to, they're way better than them. I I don't think that's. I think it's almost if, if, comical that how much right. better. Right, and are. they're that's, probably like this is. You know, whatever what, we're trying to do it like, like do you, would you, these dudes say that Billy Club Sandwich is an influence? Maybe, but Maybe, it's like, but like, like like everybody gets hurt. Yeah, yeah. Avenue. Yeah, yo, the, the, like, it's not Castle even close. Bands, but yes. these dudes are so, so talented and proficient at their shit. Not that those bands, are, I mean, whatever, no, right, those right. are nice dudes and whatever. But I feel like these, this, they've taken it just like to a whole nother level. So actually, that's a fascinating thing. What you just said. Well, thank you. You, you said they're nice dudes, and I, I'm going to underline something. Uh, we got a little taste of this, I think, when, when Contino was on. Yeah. Is sometimes, and we talk about this often here, actually, a lot of those bands were fun to go to oh, 100%. And, and caught an energy, and it was a, Wild. It was a friend thing to do. 100%. And they were never very good. You know what I mean? Their <laughs> and, shows were like... I mean, it's it's odd because having been around for like that whole thing, yeah, you mm-hmm. got to see that. It's super built nuts. up mm-hmm. to a point that it's like, oh well, you know, the recollections are crazy. Well, like people when people weren't were, there, they're like, oh, you know, yeah. like Castle Heights is not CBS. I yeah, think it's not ABC no Rio. And, and I, I cannot. Think, yeah, I, no, I'm sorry. No. I was gonna say I think it's through the eyes of somebody who was young going. I think there was a couple young spectators, sure, who maybe saw it at its height and were like, oh my god, this is it. This is my. This is my zenith, and then as they get older, they look back on that and like right. maybe imagine it to be something else. Yeah, I mean it was incredibly violent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no fights or anything most of the time, but it was it was violent as fuck. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you know I can't tell you how many like they would refer to these bands as national acts <laughs> that I've seen <laughs> that <there>. weekend <laughs> that weekend in Jersey. That is, you are crossing state lines. That's true. You are a national act, <laughs> but bands that it's like anywhere else. I mean, I can even speak from my own. We play Long Island one weekend. There'd be fucking 500 kids there. We'd play there and play in front of 27. Yeah. Because we were not on that kind of wavelength. Yeah. Mm. I saw a four, four punch there in front of like 10 people. Yeah. yeah. Blood for blood. It was, a, it was its own yeah. thing. Yeah. It, yeah. You know what I mean? And it was kind of like, you know, Sworn Enemy before they were popular would pack that place out. Yeah. No Redeeming Zosha Value would like sell the place out. Yeah. No but Redeeming then, there was a real thing. Yeah. But then you'd get, you know, fucking... You know, I saw one king down there, like, and I went as like a friend thing for Rob, and it was like fourteen people there. It was fucking atrocious. Yeah, but like anywhere else, they play Long Island in front of hundreds. Yep. Yeah, but here it just it's just like a very weird kind of insular kind of thing. And I can say, as a person in a touring band, deeply frustrating. <laughs> but as a dude that also appreciates <sighs> scenes when they have their own personality. 
Yeah. Cool. It's hard to knock, man. Even if no, it's a personality course. that I'd like, if I met him on the bus, I'd be like, damn, I hate this personality. I don't want to talk to this personality anymore. Sometimes like, it's just uh, that that is what creates a world. And like sometimes that just a few people, like we see it, you see it now, right now. There's places that are starting to come up. And like, yo, when was the last time Buffalo had a really good hardcore scene? Probably the 90s. Right. right and early, I early see, lots. I don't know many bands go through there now but i see bands going through there and i see there's just kind of a small group of kids really doing their thing and it's fucking cool and that's that's just one example of many like like the midwest uh, we actually maybe in the next episode we'll talk about this but like there's places in the midwest doing shows that were skip they were skip country of course oh yeah no band was playing your town and now it's a oh no we we gotta play we gotta play yeah people play gary indiana now yep gotta help them so uh Listen, is it, in, it? Do you guys find this that everything out of New York, you know, maybe you maybe you hear breakdown, maybe maybe you hear killing time, and then then immediately the Madball elements become evident, right? Yeah, so but, sure. But, but what this band does is skips the Mad Madball There's elements. No mad I don't hear Madball. And, 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 so ma- everybody gets hurt. Like, that's what it sounds right. Like. So I hear death threat. Some parallels that to that. Yeah. But but may, I just think it's fascinating, and th- I give this to their credit, that maybe you have that killing time sort of like, you know, you have Fine. your baseline. Sure. You have your you baseline. Have some, yeah, it's yeah. just in and, everyone's the New York Right, Can't exactly. Yeah. But then, instead of doing the thing that everybody does, right. and this is why even if you don't like King Nine, I think there's some credit to be given here, yeah. is... Instead of doing the obvious, everybody does Madball. Yeah. How much Madball have we fucking listened to? Fucking we listen to a lot of Madball. A lot of Madball. Yeah. A lot of Madball this weekend. And, and, and we're not mad at it because I it's... To how, every day. how can you be mad at Madball? Right. But it's nice that a New York band goes the they, other way. They, go, they take a left turn. You know but, what I mean? But I still, like, decidedly in New York. Oh, you know what I mean? It's right? funny like, because cool. they pick bands and they're kind of attributing their sound to bands that, like... Outside of New York, they're not as popular. Like everybody gets hurt would sell out a tour in fucking Japan. Yeah, but you know couldn't catch a cold in fucking you know, wherever in New yeah. Brunswick, yeah, yeah, yeah. and not yeah. in a bad way, but just kind of like they didn't tour. No, a lot. that's just they the way it is. Lot. Yeah. So like to to King Nine's credit, I feel like a lot of the renaissance of those types of bands are almost like contingent. Like Billy Club Sandwich being like anything, a, 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 a conversation a, of any type. Well, anything. not even, or like or a band that's like you know pretty high up on these festivals and stuff. Flown around, yeah. Was Probably part and parcel to stuff like King Nine. Oh, I think so. King Nine, their circle of bands. Yeah, their circle I, mean, of I, mean, I don't think uh, Billy Club ever toured the country. No, no, I think by the time that Billy Club broke up, it or, or went away, whatever whatever yeah. their situation was, it, it uh, I think decidedly it was on the other side of that being a sound that people were even regionally yeah. excited about. And mm. I would say, yeah, couldn't get arrested in a lot of towns. I mean, but they sure. murdered in Japan. <laughs> I don't I doubt it. it. Yeah, that's, don't doubt they, it. There's almost a scene in Japan built around those kind of bands. Of those bands yeah. that like, oh, it kind of kept that fire yeah. kind of burning the entire time. King Nine, yes. listen to this record. I hear Death Threat. I hear all the New York yeah. stuff you were referencing. I don't hear Madball. No. I don't hear, like, I hear, you know, I know there's the trace that. elements of like Breakdown, but it's not from Breakdown. It's not from that. No, it's through. It's the, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's not from the, the seed and it's not from the tree. But maybe I catch it on some leaves that fell on the ground and right. we're over like here. Everybody you know? gets hurt is is definitely yes, a, you know, an offshoot of breakdown, and that's where they're getting it from. So it's sort of like through that lens. That's almost. yes, absolutely. But I'm I hear surprised you like this. I love this record. Yeah, I, I mean, really not in a bad like, way, but like it doesn't seem. No, like... I got it. I ordered it when it came out. Okay. Um, because I heard, I think I heard a song. I was like, oh, this isn't what I thought it was. Right. Because I thought it was heavy. I thought it was more beat downy. Mosh, I thought it was yeah. more. And it's definitely. And it, it's not. It's yeah. it's like way faster. So mm-hmm. for people who, when you listen to a lot of the heavier stuff, you're not into it. This record, despite the way the band presents, this is a band who I like. I'm like, there's just as many fast parts as there are heavy uh-huh. parts. Mm-hmm. I think um, this is a band who I think is heavy and hard. Correct. <laughs> no debate. And and maybe. <clears throat> more hard than heavy, at least on this record. What yeah. do you think of that? No, like, I don't, that's true. You know what I mean? Because there's more fast going on. Right, it's, it's not, hard, not, but it's not metal. No, no, riffy, riffies, and there's certain parts. Uh, you said you thought that there were th- like, oh, you could predict everything that was going on. When I listen to this record, there's parts where I'm like, oh, this might lose me, but then they pulled me back in in the next part. Like, Look, I yeah. no no part of this record <laughs> lost me, They're and I, I this is my favorite of the King Nine material. Same. Yeah, they're very the talented. And I yeah. feel like they can kind of take that and sort of make it their own and not get too like in a rut on certain things. So yeah. I feel like the guitar player is like 
they're all really fucking good. So they yeah. can kind of move around. And it's not I think that's a good way to put too it. Too stayed on like one. I I'm just gonna say, I think I was really in the right mood because I yeah. heard this hit, and hit. was like, you know what? I yeah. I was never mad at it, but I never was in love with it. This, yeah. I really enjoyed this listen. All right, my question for you guys on this record. Yes. Is this the best heavy hardcore record since Big Kiss Goodnight? That's tough, man. Uh, I know. I, that's I, a lot. Heavy hardcore record since... Heavier hardcore record. Now, I'll, I'll say right out of the way, mm. Code Orange, I'm King, you guys might, might both put it there. Oh, sure, yeah. I you would like go Foundation Turncoat. Okay, right. That did come out later. Okay. Incendiary. Okay. See, but now, Incendiary but, might not be as... Yeah. Like, I think this record's heavier than Incendiary, right? You don't know? I, don't know. I oh, think that's so. Tough, man. I think it is. That incendiary. Like, I'm not taking. Look, I'm, like I just think it's like this is more moshy. You know what I mean? Like, what's yeah. the narrative on uh, you guys? Uh, uh, your, the texts. What's the narrative on my feeling on incendiary? Am I am I portrayed right now, as a secret hater? No, I don't know. I, if it's I don't know where you're. Yeah, I don't know where you're at. <laughs> It's really odd because I feel like you vibe on so much of the source material, and when you do listen to it, you're like, "Oh, this is, this is like exemplary." But I almost feel like it's a running gag that I kind of low oh, rate. Oh yeah, yes. that I low right. rate. And them. I pretty much go like, "Don't listen to him." Yeah, <laughs> like, he doesn't actually mean it. Like I'm like, no, you're but the I, abusive husband that I'm defending. I also That's know true. that. Oh my god, I read a fucking Green Arrow comic f- from. Uh, oh, it, uh, oh. You know, it was the Mike Grell period. Yeah. This means nothing to you, Tom. Uh, but it was what's his wife uh, Black Canary yeah, uh, yeah. It, it was decidedly not woke yes. it, it, yeah. it, it was it? Uh, 80s yeah if I had to guess 88 I mean, maybe yeah, late 80s what's so this late, er, late 80s era uh, Redhead what's Green Arrow's real name fuck Oliver Queen Oliver Queen right um, has a wife who's also a superhero and he's a fucking dickhead so, just a dickhead so here's the deal bad husband like right. maybe he doesn't hit her but everything else. No, no. Well, he, it's, okay. So yeah, he's, he's che- he, che- he cheats on her. But but anyway, but, sure. but that's not. Here's the lens. Sorry to our listeners. Sorry. This is interesting to some of you. Sorry, incendiary. <laughs> he incendiary has to do too. floral deliveries f- f- during for All an issue. Clean. He's deliver delivering flowers, right? It sounds really exciting. He co- he walks in on a domestic, and he knocks the dude out. This is Good all. Job. This all. Well, this all tracks, right? Yeah. yeah. Good. But then Superhero. the but then the woman says. Thanks, you know, uh, he, he when he gets uh, he gets out of control, and and he puts his finger in her, in her face and goes, "I didn't do it for for you, I did it for him." Do you know what he? Because he's a he's a naval officer. Yes. Do you know what the navy would do to him if they found out he was a wife beater? And I'm like, I'm like Oliver. That's not the that's wow. not the, that's not the track that here. Took a turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like you're a superhero. But like I defended you. I'm getting out of here now. But but he's like he's like uh, he's he, a dick. he he said he says to her, uh, you know, the two of you go get counseling. Uh, it, it's for both of your sakes and whatever. Okay, I guess that part's fine, but. In 2019, if if we're not saying to to the battered wife, go get counseling, we're saying, yo, yeah, shake finger, go get counseling. No, yeah. we're not doing that. No. And we're certainly not going, I knocked him out for him, yeah. not yeah. for right. you. I protected him from himself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, yo, it was, re- and don't get me wrong, this Grell run is Classic. beautiful. Really, really, it's really, perfect. Really but really, that really, was really a weird pretty. fucking moment. At any rate, uh, the, 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 Incendiary uh, King Nine. No, um, so I I asked, is this the best heavier hardcore record since Big Kiss Can I? It's not in my foundation. In that, well, Are you're you're metal? throwing it out because I I like I like this record more than that foundation record. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Then uh, turncoat, yeah, I do. Okay. It's just fat. It's more my style. Sure, you know? sure, sure. I could see. I'm just trying to get the arguments. I, what else? So it's tough because I don't have anything on deck as a substitute. Uh-huh. Although I probably I do like. You, you're that. taking code orange. I'm king. Sure, but that yeah. I'll be honest. It's a little different. It's a that's record. different. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, it's a metal that, that's not a heavy hardcore record. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's the question. Like if right? incendiary is not in the conversation, then foundation really is. But I don't. But I don't think TUI should even be in this conversation. I feel like they're Big closer. To, yeah. Oh yeah. You think that's a he- you think that's a heavy hard record? This is heavy and hard, man. This Big is Big night is absolutely. Is, I feel is, like they're the Big Kiss night might be less heavy than hard. I mean, it definitely isn't that heavy, right? Well, this yeah. is a this is Jail? an ass beater yeah, of a right. record. This yeah. this King Nine record. So is that fucking Ty record. Yeah. But if we're looking at strictly as like heavy hardcore with no metallic Yo, I, parts to it, not, I feel like enough, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like King Nine is incendiary can't be in the same conversation because they're like a heavier. Like they're heavy as fuck. There's a lot of metal to it. Same thing with Foundation. That yeah. like L- Death Threat is super heavy. Listeners, they're hit us, hard. Listeners, they're a hardcore band. Listeners, hit us with the tweet. I 
I say this with total respect, and I don't know how they would feel about it as musicians. Oh, I think I think I don't. I hang out with people. I, I don't consider. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's unfortunate it's for really the, the one person rough. in the room who hangs out with humans. Oh, God, <laughs> that TUI record. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. I don't think is. I don't think it's heavy or hard. I think it's just a fucking through and through catchy, catchy ass. I think record. there's some. Uh, he mentioned jail. I think yeah. there's some. I think there's some. Pleased to meet me. Please yeah, pleased to meet you. Meet you. Those, oh, to there's me, some, the, these are hummers. I'm humming. Yeah, yeah but, you're also but there's also the there's also some jail, some, some aggression there, man. Do Yo, we need, a, do we need to listen swim? to the Trapped on, Under man. Ice record? So, so this King Nine record makes me want to like drop through through a a, a, a window. This ceiling. King Nine record is a prison record. That's, right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's well you. said. Okay. So jail makes me want to shank you up like fucking Ed really? Cage almost and throw you off the top deck. I'm just kind of hmm, bopping along. Okay. Mm, jail. You know? I very few songs in the last like ten yeah, years. He loves have that made song. Me actually, like homicidal. Yeah. Have you ever seen me dance on the sidewalk? No. Thank you. Okay. So when I have my headphones in. And I'm really catching a moment. Yeah. You, I don't dance like I don't break dance, but I, but but like you can catch me. You just make money moves. Yeah. You, you know how on yeah. stage I do weird things with my hands yeah. and shit. When I'm listening, what is your, what is your sidewalk dance? Let's when see. I'm listening to little shit, I'll go like, oh, yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like like I'll You'll grab Chris Mad Dog okay. Russo. I'll grab things that aren't there. You know what I mean? All right, Mikey. And, <laughs> and, and, and like so, I'm walking through Manhattan, just going. Like the, you know, oh, like you're do, the asshole. I'm the asshole doing see, weird things. Did you see the Francesca clip the other day? So does he fall asleep again? No. So so the Giants traded Odell, mm-hmm. right, to the Browns. All right. I think they actually got a good haul. I think long term this will look okay. Yeah. Every, oh, Giants fans, big mad. Yeah. Uh, Giant fan calls into Francesca and goes, "Shout out to Phil D for giving me this video." Calls into Francesca and goes, "Why don't we trade?" Uh, Oh, the number seven, three pick, the or number six is pick, the or pick to the Seahawks for right. Russell Wilson, and then give Russell Wilson to the Yankees because they could use that prospect. Yeah, and Francesca goes, uh, "Just hang on, I'm trying to disconnect with you yeah, as quickly as I so possibly great. can." <laughs> and then someone else is like, "Actually, the Yankees have the baseball rights to Russell Wilson already." Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they do. They do. Is that he, true? He does spring training with them almost yeah. every year. No yeah, shit. he does it. Yeah. yeah so shout out great. Russell. Yeah. Um, this King Nine record is a prison record. That sounds like it was a good question. I that think this question. record might get low rated. Uh, why? Band's not not super toury. Let's let's, 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 you know? I, I, I mean, does mass movement exist anymore? No, no, no. So this record's out of print. Yep. I would imagine. Yep. Yo. So physical's out of print. You can stream it, but sure, yeah, physical's sure. out of print. Uh, I think this band does the worst job of selling itself outside of its music. I think my comment earlier when we talked about this was that I think this is the rare case where the music is the best part of the music and vocals all that yeah. is the best part of the band like their aesthetics fine i actually love this record cover but don't love like this one. The, i don't yeah. love all their merch and they don't tour too much yeah. but like you put these records on and you're like oh this band's fucking killer yeah i like the new record album art a lot yeah. but like but they don't. They don't do the the heavy promo. They don't do that stuff. I think life inter- interceded yeah. in the meantime. I mean, very like well. When after this record came out, like adulthood kind of set in. There's also. I, I mean, I think it took too long. Yeah. So so yeah, that could very well be. But there's also just there are bands who just want to be a band. Yeah. You know what Which I mean? Like they, they don't yeah. want to sell them. Like yeah. they, they don't want to do. Uh, okay, we're gonna tour all summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, but or, they, you know, they're going to fucking Europe for shows with Patrick. Yeah. Like so, they get to. They do. They're doing that. Yeah, get to do fun shit. It's a fucking incendiary model. Sure. I feel you like if, do that, you might as well. If this record hit at the right time and they did a big tour with the Trapped Under Rice or some a Turnstile yeah. now. Uh, they could be way, way bigger than they are. And everyone should check this record out. Yeah. My favorite song was Free Will, for whatever reason. Oh, I'm scared to death. Ooh, good. Mm. That's the song I think of when I think of King Nine. Mm. Still to this to this day. Next record, up against our only band from Canada in the tournament, No Warning, Torture Culture, released on Last Gang Records, 2017, 41 Minutes. That's fucking long, man. How many songs? Ten. Oh. 11. But it, it was it was interesting because I almost didn't believe that length because I I can listen to like this it record. Drags, yeah, yeah it, ble- it bleeds through. Um, and they just have a couple long tracks. Very long. Um, tracks. which you'll hear me. You've heard me on these tournaments complain about records that were like twenty eight minutes. I'm not complaining about the length on this for some reason. It's when you read it, you're like, no way. And then I went through and looked Weird. at the track list. I'm like, yeah, okay. It moves. At the it moves. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, start us off. No warning. Torture culture. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think this record is pretty dope. 
Uh, yeah, maybe a little, little. Wait, wait, aren't you a no warning hater? Certainly, yeah. Uh, and this uh, wrong band from Toronto. Uh, proof, proof that uh, you can just like you can just like a new effort right. from something from something that you don't believe that you like. You know, what I mean, this is why you should listen to somebody's new album because you might not like their so old you, material. You don't fuck with like ill blood. Don't care about it at all. Oh my god, man. Don't although. Everything that they took from Ill Blood that appears on this fucking record, I really like. So, are you going to revisit? Yeah, Ill Blood? I, I you will. probably I will. should because I there's will. a lot of tempo stuff. Yeah, a little, no. they nod at their own record, which is I like a lot. Yeah. You know, I mean, they do the, uh, you know, the the, the 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 beat that they do in every fucking song. Mm-hmm. Do 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 do. The it's, ev- their, it's their tempo. <laughs> yeah, it's, it it is. Uh, it's Hallmark. They do it on every fucking song. And I feel like every hardcore band does that now. Yeah, oh, yes. So, like, yes. the drop yes. out, like, yes. dum, dum, with, like, a bass line kind of over yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, big thing. And, look, uh, I think this is a good record. Uh, I think that the elements we, we talked before uh, we went on air, which is, if this had been the third record... Uh, second record. Second record, pardon me. If this had been uh, post-Ill Blood, mm-hmm. uh, then... Right, seven-inch uh, Ill Blood. That, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If this had been if this had been what in place of suffer survive, yeah. uh, how would we look at this band now? Because a great question. Because in my view, this does a lot of things that are left of yeah. the, the left of the dial. This, People would have been bummed on this too. I think they might That's have been right. mild. Two thousand three, definitely. Yeah, and I think just how people went back to like, well, you know, Suffer Survive isn't really that bad of a record. When people realize Suffer, not. no, Suffer Survive's not a new metal record. No, <laughs> it's the like, song Dirty Than the Next is, is a great, one of their best five, hardcore records. Top ten songs by No, no warning? warning, absolutely, Easily. no question. And I think you know, yeah, like you said, like I feel like people would have been bummed on this. I feel like it was more accepted now, given what happened in the interim. No question. No question. I think that this it's record... Filthy. Yeah. it's um, So, a lot of licks on this record. Lots of licks. Yes. Um, my, f- I, I, my favorite song is Like a Rebel. Kind of weird. They take some chances. They take a lot of chances. I think that's one of the things I appreciated on this. Production-wise? Production-wise, vocal, like vocal vocals. Production weird. And he's taken... He does some really weird vocal stuff mm-hmm. that I was like, yo, this definitely... like. It just, that part, I think I said to Patrick, I was like, this record feels fun. Like they yeah. had fun making it and yeah. we're like, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not 22 and trying to do my Freddie Madball. Right. I'm 30, whatever. I'm doing a bank. I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yo, I'm going to sing this line. I'm going to give it this weird right. squeal. And, um, there's lots of classic New York hardcore nods. Uh, hell realm is their, um, uh, 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 the mid tempo, uh, age of crawl song, uh, 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 Secret of the Truth. Secret of the Truth. Yeah. It's their Secret of the Truth. It's almost like, oh yeah, I see what you guys are doing here. Um, right. It's you not can, embarrassing for a comeback record. There's cock rock all over it. Oh, there's some motorhead now. a little bit to it. I think it does. Yeah. I think it makes it sound decidedly different. They could have come out and gone, oh, okay, we see where hard and heavy music went since we've been away. Right. We'll lean into that. that cause right. it, it could have and they did blood they, and fucking done the same. Right. Yeah, yeah. And they did not. And they went away and... And uh, I actually, you know what? Underrated. Some of the lyrics on this record are really good, mm-hmm. really cool. Yeah. I, I uh, big props on that. Now talk about the thing that's not cool. This uh, vocal effect choice is on ha- the whole record. Hashtag not cool. It, You're not it, feeling it. Huh? It is. Uh, well, it's very distancing, and it makes uh, the record sound less personal. Uh, what is it? I don't know. It's like an echo effect, kind of, right? It's more like, than that, though. It's I feel doubled like it's up. It's like a Deftones fucking thing. Uh, well, it does sound like, like a little it, bit more mechanical, like robotic. Okay, so uh, a thing that I actually enjoy on the on a slow record is, uh, and and Jane's Addiction d- d- did this nonstop. Uh-huh. Uh, oh yeah, du- yep. double, doubled, but off, off. By like I a believe split that. Second. I, so I have to fact check us. Someone here. I'm pretty sure the vocals on. Um, Ill Blood and Suffer Survive are doubled up, mm-hmm. but yeah. really right on top of I just like to give them burly yeah, quite honestly, most record, yeah. If, I mean, I have always done that. Have you? Yeah. Always, how do you do it? No, you can hear. I mean, you can hear the difference. You can hear uh, yeah. er, early end of year material, which is not doubled, sounds incredibly thin. But yeah. that that was kind of the aesthetic that Andrew, our guitarist, who recorded a lot of mm-hmm. us, a lot of the stuff. He is he loves a naturalistic recording. That's just like his thing. Right. And and you could say that we suffered for it on some level, or people or people it. loved yeah, it. Right. right. Particularly, that's probably honest. Sorry for those of you that don't. 
give a fuck about my bands. That's probably honestly more than anything why we were more popular in a screamo scene than in, and then in hardcore. even like a light melodic like, yeah, hardcore yeah. scene was because the production the production was just point, it right? was kind of like within it was those people understood sure, that sure, sure, sort sure. of thing right so. Yeah. Uh, but as now putting out records, yeah, triple me up. You know what I mean? And April thirteenth, we're good. Uh, we're good. No, I, um, I got boost on one. So but the the uh, so uh, this though this could be doubled and slightly off. Uh, that would maybe explain the kind of fake of reverb saying. thing that going on. I have no Weird idea. Vo- vocoder kind of. Yeah, thing. I yeah. doesn't doesn't bother me too much. I think it's uh, when if, it first kicks in because I actually think Ben Cook's one of the stronger vocalists we've had in hardcore for the past 20 years as as the many uh how how do you say copycats in a nice way you say like, uh, uh, uh strong admirers yeah like um <laughs> o- homage yeah. people paying tribute to that throne he, he did a really good job and i think he influenced people who were around him and maybe not even peers but people who were right. older than yeah. him started going oh fuck this dude did some cool shit I, I can yeah. do a little yeah. I'll, I'll just throw a little salt on this no, no. um what okay? Here's my question: Do people born after 1990 no care about hair metal, or uh, catch any of the references or some of the just little nods and winks at it that I hear on this record? No, no, I don't think so. Right? They probably don't even get it. They don't get it. They don't catch the Motorhead. They don't. Catch. They don't catch. And I think there's not. You know, I, please excuse my hair metal ignorance, but like I think there might be some some kicks and nods towards like early Motley Crue stuff on here and, and like is that just the other, licks. Is that like or like a fucking New York doll like that yeah of, right is that the I, I don't know their names the guitar the guitar player uh, that's DeLong. Jordan DeLong yeah Matt DeLong does he you think he might add the swagger absolutely I mean the, yo that's this record swags you know what I mean yeah, it is. It it's just does. like it, it's it, a cock rock hardcore yep, record yep and I, I I don't think I think that's why it stands out from the crowd of other records and it even stands out a bit from their catalog mm-hmm. um it's it's really cool because they could have, like you said, they could have written Still Blood. They could have written just a straight sequel to their, their you know, quote unquote classic work. They could have tried to lean into the heavier hardcore that's more popular now sure. and done something like that. But they wrote a record that I think is like, oh, cool. This rounds out your discography in a neat, weird way. Like, keep going, you know? Uh, I think it's really good. Don't love that vocal though. Mm-hmm. Uh, it takes something away from me. Uh, uh, th- it's a weird choice for the whole record, right? Do you like know a what, song or three? Totally I don't even weird. think that. I think that this is this is the sort of thing that's classically used on a bridge, like you know, and and pretty much exclusively, sure, you know. Sure, sure. But, okay. but but uh, it, uh, I think for a for a full album, it's asking a lot of me. It is distancing, um, but the actual song craft, uh, if I can be a nerd, quite good. Oh, yeah, I mean, really, really. Like unbelievable students and, of the game shit here. And as you said, this is pretty long, and I I find fault with that. But I will say that the the songs when they shift gears, mm-hmm. it might feel like a second song, but not in a way you're mad at. No, you, you know, I feel I mean? like everything feels very smooth on this. Yeah, this is well crafted. All right, so we're gonna vote. But as you have been listening, and those of you who've listened to every episode, no. Our votes don't count for shit right now. Mm. Uh, after this episode airs, go find us on Twitter, Axe to Grindcast. Uh, we also are doing a one-day poll on these on Instagram, so like a week later or so. But a couple days after this airs, you can catch it on Twitter and vote. But listen to the records before you vote. Your votes count. Ours don't. Tom, what are you voting? King Nine versus No Warning. Scared to Death versus Torture Culture. Scared to Death. Patrick? Okay, so uh, when you get, give me a sports analogy. Oh, uh, is it close? Is it close? Is it this close? was a buzzer beater. Okay, it's oh. going to be uh, for you. Tie game. Okay. The Indiana, Indiana, they pass the ball to Keith Smart. He's in the corner. Oh, Ooh. Keith Puts Smart it is whatever band you're going to choose. Hits a J at the buzzer. Yes. At the buzzer. Who who is Bobby Indiana? Knight comes running out on the crowd, running out onto the. Or does he swagger out? Or does he no, throw a chair he across runs? the floor? Bobby, Ch- yeah, he throws a chair and then he runs. Okay, <laughs> he throws a chair he in victory. Yeah, yeah. He um, throws <laughs> victory, <laughs> defeat, defeat everything, yeah. tie, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> get a taco, whatever the fuck. Do you think it's that's? A, do you think at this point that's 
that's a work that's like kayfabe like do you think he wants to throw a chair or do you think there's some nights that he throws a chair when he doesn't give a fuck oh at some point when he was throwing the chair it was just like it's a little little dry a little (laughs) dusty in here tonight let me throw this chair let's spice this shit up all right Uh, like i just want to go home at the buzzer no warning Wow! Yeah, it, it, it did really, not see that coming. This was this, honest, the, this, the, this was honestly neck and neck because I didn't have an emotional got shows attachment in Toronto to either. coming up. Yeah, he's got to earn some phone. Um, wow! All right, I didn't have to think. I, let's see. I'm going to go with scared to death. Wow! There we go. Mm. Big would fan not, of both. I would not have picked. If you had asked me, like, what do you think Bob would go for? What do you think Pat would go for? <laughs> You'd flip this. You guys flipped. This this was, for me, like, almost a coin flip. It I, really came I down to the... really yeah. close. Oh, this was, this yeah. might be one of my closest of the entire tournament. Actually, hold on. Yes. Let's get nerdy. Uh, you were surprised this made uh, the tournament. but But not because we're shitting on it. Obviously, nope, we both I liked, liked it. A lot. Uh, but f- I was surprised also. I was surprised kind of for the same reason that... Uh, we were happy, mm-hmm. but maybe a little surprised that the that the later period no warning or the later period a bitter end stuff got in. Yeah, because it's stuff we like. It's stuff we like, but it but it it's past a band's like glory moment, yes, and right. sometimes people can be dismissive. hella dismissive, dismissive and sure. and and this I felt like young people didn't race for this. I agree, and but didn't race away from it either. Didn't race away. No, and yeah. look for our younger listeners. I get it. There's always fucking 10 of you who are into uh, something that we assume that you're not into. I get it. Okay. I know, but you're special overall, uh, overall. Uh, I felt like a lot of the people that were buying this record day, day one were 30 pluses, you know what I mean? Or streaming this 30 and, and, And but I think that this record's quality held up and that people were finding it. I hope Uh, so. Because their acolytes are old. Yes. Think about it. Yes. So, you know, the guns up, these dudes are my age. Right, no warning dudes are yeah. my age, and the dudes under them are now in their mid thirties or like. Late, but I'm saying, like, know. not even them being old, but like, meaning like, like to you know, a 23 year old, cruel hand is old school. Yes, you know certainly. what I'm saying? Like, certainly. And those dudes were like a copy of you know, not a copy. Not that's dismissive. No, like, it's fine. I think that they would own it now in 2019. These those bands are desperately similar. I prefer yeah. Cruel Hand straight up. Just as a weird I know that's, that's unpopular. I know that's unpopular. Yeah. But like uh those bands will own that. They it, don't they're not they're yeah. not, they're unabashed about it at this point. Yeah, and I think honestly that even if those bands now look, for people that are not getting old that, that aren't older, I guess just people not say. getting old. <laughs> There's How people not getting they dro- they're dead today. Uh <laughs> so here's the deal. Um it becomes in my view very easy to cop to things that as a kid you wouldn't feel comfortable copping to. Sure. If you rip like off listening to Pearl Jam. If you rip off mm-hmm. a band. Oh always yeah, was, there was an arrow that that was not the coolest thing to do. Yeah, I it, was, always rode for it. You did. Because I, mean, I, I did, did the Nirvana. Play. I was like, yo, Nirvana, that's cool. Prefer Pearl Jam. I prefer Pearl Jam. I, I, so do I. <laughs> but they age the, better. One thousand yeah, percent. One hundred percent. So uh so but anyway, the point is that uh if you if I if I ripped off a band as a kid Mm-hmm. I might have been defensive. Sure. As a grown man, yeah, you yeah, got me. it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, you, caught, you caught me really liking something. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. And they added their own panache. They it. sure did. Yeah. And I think this last note on the No Warning record, I think it's going to age very well. I think this is a record yeah, people will be able to I, I agree. Absolutely. All right, next back. Boom. We're three hours into the podcast. Yeah, did one episode, one one matchup. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one, ladies Pe- and gents. People been waiting for this one though. <laughs> Zabalba. Next up, we're gonna talk about Hideki Matsui for, yeah. <laughs> for, for an hour and twenty minutes. Andy chimed in. He had a uh, uh, Chen Ming Wah mm-hmm. yeah. jersey T-shirt. Still one of his favorite players. No sh- okay. Incredible. <clears throat> Zabalba, hasta la muerte. Southern Lord Records, 2012. Guess the time on it. Uh, 48. 54 minutes. I was going to say 50 something, but. It's a long boy. Yes. It makes sense to be longer, though. Honestly. All right, let me start this one. Sure. How heavy is too heavy? It's, this is right there. They're like, they're really. These dudes are dancing the line. They're like, they're like, te- this is teasing the devil of like, oh, so you guys like heavy hardcore now, huh? Yeah. Huh? How about I'll this? about that. How about this? And just drop. They're tuned the to like bucks. Z. It's yes. like the heaviest band I've ever heard. Drop about. Z tuning. <laughs> can I can I jump in with some shit? Go. Some potentially hazardous to my uh, mm-hmm. well being shit. We'll put on the hazmat suit. Uh, yeah, go. put on the hazmat suit for me. Uh, okay, so people in my circle, and I don't know how it was for vicious. you. Is your circle vicious? Uh, yeah, I was just gonna <laughs> say that. Smart. 
this, if I recall, mm. was coming out at a time that there was heavy music of the non-hardcore variety uh, sweeping in, sweeping in, and yeah. I heard people compare this to stuff like Acacia Strain, stuff like uh, uh, Amur, right? Mm. Yeah, and uh, they're wrong. And here, yeah. wait, here, firstly, let's just elephant in the room. We're we have listeners that are. 22 yeah that fuck with those bands that heavy. fuck with those bands heavy yeah. yeah so we also have listeners who are 18 and who are too young to fuck with yeah that's right. crazy and we have okay. people that are 42 that fuck with Acacia Strain sure yeah yeah actually that's Acacia fun. Strain makes it through a lot of people's nets on this but because Vincent yeah, you think everybody I, likes that guy he's I, a nice dude I, he is a nice dude I, I don't know uh I don't Vince know. I heard nice things about you. I have also heard your band not not so nice. So yeah, it's it's kind of a struggle. They hit the brown note but, on every riff. They do, but like he, you have to poop immediately because it's so heavy. <laughs> but here's the thing. Now I don't hear. I've only heard two Amir songs. The ones that have music videos. So I don't the, know what. To, I, ask your boyfriend how my dick tastes. Song. It's very classy. It, 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 very very classy. There's one where they're smoking weed on a bus. That's I, I just remember. You ever see that video? In oh, Dugas it's that song, smoking weed on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're very on the nose. That band. They're not really. Did you see the band that when dude gets electrocuted on stage? Yes. Some of my. So I, people you, aren't mad at it. <laughs> here's the, it's from the LP. I got electrocuted <laughs> on stage. <laughs> so here's the thing. Mixed feelings on that because obviously. I mean, like, you don't want to get electrocuted. I don't like that band. So so it's like kind of it's like kind of funny, yeah. but. It like, and it's, I've done the imitation on stage many times because I think it's like a funny Stop. moment. Oh, yeah, I do, I do it a lot. Fuck you up, he can feel how he wants this, about getting electrocuted. Oh I think God. it's fucking fun. That feels but, real Trump of you. But, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, no, I do, I do, do the little oh uh, collapse. God. But here's the thing. Uh, I can't believe that's part of your stage shit. What the fuck? Is, here's I the thing. I learn something new about you every day. <laughs> here's the the self defense stick, it's, it's just evolving. <laughs> no, but uh, look. Nothing more. Oh. <laughs> no. I, look, here's the thing. I, as a person, as a singer, the thing that gives I don't know where they was the, going. The thing that gives me as a person of no color. The, yeah. the, yeah. <laughs> um, it's Casper the ghost. I am absent and a of singer. color. I am absent of color. Here's the deal. I fear being electrocuted more than anything. More than flipping a van. Uh, yeah, actually. I, really? Well, okay. Same, two, same, two, same two, two different things. I don't fear being electrocuted as it in, it ending my life. Oh. It just makes the it set hurts. suck really bad because once you're afraid of the like thing the that you have to put to your face, yeah, face yeah, all the time. Oh, that's that. true. It, I've caught, I've caught uh, yeah, several shocks. It, right, and, and it just fucking sucks. And, and uh, so imagine catching one where your body just stops. Though. Right, right, right. Like, that's fucked. Right, and yeah. so so he weirdly, as much as I found that to be a really funny moment. I also he had my sympathies because I've been Look there. You being empathizing, with, like empathizing with another human being. Hey, we don't <laughs> that want you, we don't want you to be electrocuted, other humans. Yeah. I don't, well, hold on. Let's let's just lay it out here. So this is your stance on the death penalty. He, no, but he survived. Sure. It's all good. How do you he's know? he's not he's wetting the sponge if he's in the room. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's letting him die, but he's not making him suffer. No, but he survived. If he died, hey, I would you hold his tongue down? I wouldn't be making. I, would you grab the spoon? <laughs> I'm gonna supp- sandwich in the I'm mouth. Gonna, yeah. Big old hoagie. I'm gonna depress his tongue. But uh, a big so, old grinder right in the face. A couch. So here's Get here's the couch he, here's the thing. The uh, he survived, so it's funny. Uh, he, would you say he suffered and then survived? What's happening? I, I, he might have. He might have suffered. He might be outside. It looked. Yeah, it looked. Some dude is getting real heated it, out there. Well, somebody heard the last round is ready for <laughs> so, taking us down. So anyway, I fear that shit. Point Reaper is, man. I don't hear any mirror in this. I'm not, not at all. I'm not familiar enough with Acacia Strain's uh, uh, discography to really comment. Although it is closer to that, I'm I'm certain than okay. it is to a mirror. But I didn't hear what my circle was critical of when this record came out. I Which went was? on this listen that it was too close to that sort of okay, stuff. Okay, okay. And, and I didn't, yeah, I didn't it's hear It's not it. new. I didn't hear No, it. I don't hear that at all. Like, and I you. Don't, no, I don't. Yeah. I hear heavy beyond heavy, but like. Like in a crowbar way. Yeah, that was, that's what I was looking for was reference points to that, like that super. Somewhat like, sludgy. Yeah, okay. And like there's, KSID and like Root Sepultura. Like this record could Heavier easily. Than any of that though. Could easily Root's be called metal. Heavy. You know what I mean? Oh, 100%. But like. But I see the hardcore parts. Um, yeah. My favorite song, Soledad. There's parts on this that just lose me, but it's just the length. If I was in the right mood, you could catch me on this record. It's yeah, it is heavy right. in a well in a Southern Lord way. Yes, like this it, band being on Southern Lord. It didn't make Lord, sense at the time, but it totally makes sense now. When you look back at yeah. it, yeah, I mean because it's Southern Lord's evolution, it was like oh this isn't like Boris or Sun, right? Or like but then you go or, yeah. yeah right no, no yeah. like it definitely isn't like the like desert sounds yeah. like. Uh, Fu Manchu type stuff um, or Atomic Big Twax or this, that, and the other. <laughs> it's like 
but it's so heavy and like it's it's heavy before hard for sure. Yes, but it's not right. to say the record's not hard. No, it's hard. Um, feels like what's the band? Uh, Give me a clue. From Mexico, uh, Brujeria. Yes. You know what I mean? Like that's totally different sound, but like definitely hits some of these heavier. Yeah, parts. you know that's a fake. Like Brujeria is to- kind of a fake band. Is it? One of the guys in it is from Faith No More. Really? It's all like random famous people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The really? singer is yeah. different. The singer is that. a Latino dude. I don't know where he's from. I just know. But the rest of the dudes are like, like that I, first record, this bass player from Faith No More is on it. What, I, I thought know. it was Fear Factory. It, 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 it might have been Dino from Fear Factory in it. Like, like, is this, like, is that band, like, am I remembering it right? It's like heavy and metal ish. Some fast parts, like kind of thrashy. Some maybe thrashy. Okay, then yeah. maybe I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of something. Ooh, wait. Who's that band? There's some band who I saw in Southern California. Look, in Southern California, you get a lot of bands who do the fast thing and then go to sludgy slow mm-hmm. and hard. And this band sort of, like Zabalba, I think, took all those elements and just made it more proficient. Drop the tuning as low as you can go. Yeah. And went for that. Yeah. And I, I was very impressed with it. Um, it's not my go to. Mm-hmm. I love the album art. <laughs> Beautiful. It's the best. Yeah. I mean, I love Nate's vocals. Really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really good. like his yeah, vocals. They're, really they're pretty clear for the stuff that they're doing. Yes. Um, I like the recording. It, it's, it is super fucking heavy. Um, I mean, it, it you know, I, it, I think if you like your hardcore a little bit heavier, and it's it's yeah. interesting, and there's I feel like you know if you turned on the radio tomorrow and you heard some song you had never heard before, you would know if it was Obama, and I think that's pretty <laughs> yeah. rare. You know what I mean? That's like true. a lot of times you go, wait, is this yeah band X or band Y? Like yeah. you hear his Obama song, you know you're listening to Obama, and that go that 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 says a lot. You know what's really interesting? The Spotify fans also like for Obama. I don't think reflects their sound, but sort of does. Sorry, the first one's No Zodiac. Okay. Sure. Yep. Then. Incendiary's on there. Yep. Right. Twitching Tongues. Okay. Sure. Down Presser? Okay. I could see that. Pull it from the same well. Expire? Mm, not so much. No. Musically, for sure not, but they probably toured together at some sure. point. Sure. Sure. Rotting Out? Not at all. Not at all, but probably played some shows together. Absolutely. But not sound yeah. like Incendiary. Mm-hmm. Foundation. Bent Life, King Nine, Cold World, Dead End Path. So this band just, like, they also were sort of early on the super heavy, right? 100%. Like, like this band and Harm's Way probably don't get nodded at enough for their influences on the heavier side of heavy hardcore. Like, Yeah, I think they're akin to, to actually the Harm's Way. That's a good point. I yeah. feel like they're kind of... If you had to describe them to someone who was familiar with Harm's Way, I feel like, or and vice versa, yeah, yeah, that's I feel a, like they're they closer together. They're super heavy, but it's not ignorant heavy. It's not beat down heavy. Nope, yep, you're it's right. It's just super like fucking heavy. Just yeah, like knocking on your ass heavy. Okay, let me see. Uh, yeah, my question was how heavy is too heavy? This band dances the line of being yeah too I, heavy for I, most. It's never offended. For it, most, yeah. now I think yeah. for a lot of people, like. Yo, so many people are looking for what is the fastest band? What is the hardest band? What is the most... Yo, this band, if you wanted to say who's the heaviest band, you could still say is like a hardcore band. This band's in the argument. Sure. So It's really heavy. I uh, found on occasion I was getting bored of songs and then they would find a new way to be heavy, which I found mm. impressive. Uh, so... Yeah, th- this record was uh, was long for me yeah. because when something is is just uniformly heavy, and don't get me wrong, there's some dynamics at work. It's not like um, so, it's not a drone record. No, and it's not. It's also not like some of the uh, uh, heavier beatdown records that I've heard, like the stuff coming out of Europe, where it's uh, it it's like basically. <laughs> It's like staccato heaviness where it's just the same heavy over and over and over again. Right, right. It's, it's, it's not like that. It's very easy to make heavy boring. Yes. Oh, God, yes. You know what I mean? I feel like there's some bands that like, you somehow manage to make a mosh part boring. Okay. Remember when I said I had heard two Amur songs? Yeah. Uh, that's a true fact. But the reason that I even checked out those songs is because uh, a guy I know from Upstate started playing in the band and wrote some of those records, right? And when I would see him, I'd say, How, how's band shit going? And he'd say... I'll be honest, man. Do you know how hard it is to write 
heavy in a new or interesting way after you've put out two records. Yeah. He's like, it's not fucking, he's like, it's not fucking easy, man. (laughs) And like, I believe that, you know I mean? It is really, you see here, we hear so many boring ass fucking heavy bands. So, uh, this, this mostly avoided, although I was, will say that some of these songs are long. No serenity is my go-to track on this record. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is up against turnstile time and space. Roadrunner, 2017, 25 minutes. 17 already. 2017. Two years ago. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Mm-hmm. That if can't you, be real. If, I don't. Yeah, it's 2017. Because I saw yeah. them in... I feel like they've recorded it in 2017. Say, May or June of 18, That's when I had to ask your boy to hook me up yeah. let's say, to get let's in, because it was sold out yeah. at the Warsaw with Touche. Let's say, let's did say. you get in? I did. Oh, good. I'm checking um, right now. Yeah, there were emails back and forth between your homeboy and my buddy Christian. There you go. And then he found out it was for me, and then he gave me a hard time. Gotcha. Did, you, did you guys, uh, like, did you get the reference, either of you, for this week's secret playlist name? No. I knew, okay. I knew who Ed Pinkney was from what Villanova. What team did he play for? Villanova. Villanova. Patrick put that together. The second name was Richard Ryder. Okay. Uh, which is Nova. Yep. For the, the, it, it's a comic, book, comic book character, yeah. There you go, guys. <laughs> Time and space. According to... Steady Ed Pickney. Oh, you know what? I was wrong. I said t- 2017. February 23rd, 2018. You guys are right. That makes sense. <gasps> okay. Time is not and also because, that quickly. Yeah. Because I think we all put this on our best of 2018 lists. Might yeah. be. So 2018. Just 25 bar- minutes. Just barely, though. Damn. Um... That song, the real thing. Yeah, it's a good song. Uh, that that song is so good that when you hear it, you think it's either a cover or a classic song already. Hundred percent, which is wild. Yep. Like I know that song so well that it's like if you were like, you know, Bad what? Brains cover. I'd be like, yeah. You know what? What? I'm dropping out of this because you guys stand for this fucking record so hard, and I'm just voting. I'm gonna pre-vote. I'm voting. Uh, Zabalba. Zabalba, just to be difficult because you guys love this fucking record so much. So so go in on this. These are your boys. You want to hate on it? Hate out. Nah, yeah. Say lo- something about your friends. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Yo, I get in trouble on every goddamn episode for saying yeah, some shit about fucking, somebody I yeah, know. Me and Bob have to fucking <laughs> no, the, please. I get silence over here. Yeah. Well, I I get the text from friends that are like, "Why are you burying me?" But but I don't get the I don't get the I'm gonna bury your fucking friend, which is probably the text that you get. You know? No, no, <laughs> but. but- I, that's when I usually mouth like tread lightly. Yeah, off my yeah, yeah. For, so for people that don't, <laughs> for people that don't know, um, we would we will probably eventually, uh, being the media moguls that we are, we'll probably video this shit, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's going. You're going when to you get s- the studio. W- yeah, when I get the studio Crafted. going. But you're going to see. You're going to see Tom look at me every time a band that could ball me up and shove me in their assholes. Every time I talk about one of them. You say, like, I have a hot take, and I go, oh, Jesus uh, yeah, Christ. Tom, Tom yeah. mouths. <laughs> when you hear tread, it exasperate on the like, air, it's the, like, that's the gentle part. The other part is, like, looking at Pat, like, you're getting dead eyes. Come on. Yeah, well, yo, do you like the movie, uh, Not Another Teen Movie? Yes. Yeah, of I course. Mean, Everybody yeah. on the L- great movie. But th- there's that scene where the character turns around and goes, Stop. Yes, that's yeah. me. That is literally me. <laughs> <laughs> that's Tom. So, anyway. How good is that? Movie? Oh, it's a brilliant you tore. fucking movie. Like, I never have to leave New York again. Do you know what saved my ass a lot? What? Is that I think I honestly. Weigh 120 pounds? No, nah, people step to that. <laughs> it's not like it used to be where people are like, oh, this guy's too but small. But I feel like, like it's gotten to the point that the three of us, like, if someone's mad at you, there's more, mm-hmm. there's as much of a chance of me and Bob taking a shot to the face as it is yeah. you, because they're not going to beat. I mean, if they're a 250 pound gentleman, I think you're giving these people too much credit. The guy that's going to beat me up for saying something about his band doesn't give a fuck that I'm a small man. That just makes his job easier that day. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Here's what I'm gonna say though. I think that what what gets me out of the doghouse with a lot of people, even if I bury their fucking bands and or their albums, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, it's nothing to do with my fucking. The guy nobody, from, nobody's intimidated by my. Is it the gray hair? Nobody's no. With gray hair, probably does help. But, like, but, I can't beat up this old ass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, honestly, what I think it is is an old th- man. He ain't what he, he used, used to, to be. The old gray I th- man. I yeah. think everybody gets that. I want them to succeed. succeed. I th- I really think that goes a long way. I think if I think if you come into shit with the with the vibe that, that and I keep caramels with me all the time. Yeah. Good old hard candy. You give <laughs> them out to all brand. the nice fellas. Second. When I they come over angry, I say, "Would you just like to talk? I have some candy." I, I, have think, some candy. I think it goes a long way to just be like, "Hey man, I'm not I'm not mad at what you've tried to do here. I just don't like it. We can agree that I that's mean, all right." I can honestly say and to yeah. back that up. There is not 
if I think back over the last 50 some odd episodes, last year and, and some change, mm. there is not one band that we've discussed here. Not one that we've rooted against. No. No. I could be like, no. yo, that band sucks. Yeah. Yep. I, I don't want them to fail. Yeah. Somebody it, clipped this and posted it all over. We want, we want every, we want good things for everyone. Yeah. Like, and I if might we not say care we don't it. like it, it's because we're trying to be honest and we want that discourse to be able to ha- be had without it being like, they must hate us as people. No, yo, yo, right, right, or, or they're, fu- you know, like, yo, I, I'm going to, uh, here's a non Pass the candy. Let's uh, here, go. Here's a non take. Uh, I, play a lot of shows and most of you just look like skinny white guys to me and I don't even know who the fuck you are so like you know uh, the idea that I'm wishing you ill is mm-hmm. fucking nuts I, I that's wishing yourself well, it, no. well yeah. no it's I mean, just that it's just that I don't know yeah. you well enough to wish you I just didn't like it to wish you ill I, yeah I just didn't like your album you, you're getting my general wish you well and uh, take a word there's move on yeah Let's go. yeah I mean we're not I mean I'm not trying to fuck you know like Never. right I could not like something now, but you got a different disposition where everybody likes your ass. I, I, I'm, I don't know about that. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm saying that I occasionally probably get somebody's fur up, but like I think people get it anyway. Back to the sometimes point. How good is the sometimes picture? I bring the heat. Yeah. yeah oh, you often bring the heat, but you got like a lot of love to your tone. Yeah. My tone. I'm like I got like a bitchy asshole tone. Mm-hmm. I got like a fucking dickhead tone, mm-hmm. and it's not really even my fault. I want people to win. I just was born with this tongue. It's an asshole tongue. Carrie. Carry hard candy. You'll That's be what it is. You really should. We're gonna get you a bag of word that is for the yeah, next talk. I, I have some, yeah. <laughs> Yo, how funny? How funny would so it be good. if somebody stepped to me I and they were like, you, and you, no, and they were like, I heard you got those worthers. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> and you're like, yo. I, oh shit, I'm out. Like, somebody been rolls a busy up. tour. <laughs> so, somebody rolls up on me. They do that thing. Like, yo, PK, come here, man. Yeah, they, yeah, let me talk to you for a second. Right. They, they do that thing where they talk in, in my ear instead yeah. of at, at my yeah. eye, and I'm like, oh no. Catch one to the side of the face. Yeah. I'm getting boxed in the ear. And they're like, they're like. So where's this hard candy? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah so so all you like all who yell at drug thoughts. church, yell at self defense, spell it out. Where's that yeah, hard where, candy? Where's the Worthers? <laughs> so uh, anyway, and Pat won't acknowledge you because he's doing other things with his life at that time, and he doesn't want to slum mm. with the hardcore podcast <laughs> that has made him famous. <laughs> mm, <laughs> True. famous. <laughs> First yeah. question on interviews. Oh, so tell us about Axel Grant. Oh, it is often. Like, it is often. So. Uh, what but fucking records were we talking I about? I tried the yellow pad and he wouldn't acknowledge me. Oh, yeah. Because I was a small bean. What do people want? Small beans. So, uh, so I, look, Turnstile are my dudes. I'll probably, I think I'm doing more shows with them. But uh, you, I, like so you, gotta, stop, you like Non Stop Feeling More. I like Non Stop Feeling More. This is a great record. No, great record. no knock in this record okay. at all. It's a great record. I'm just, I want that fun fucking stage dive bop. That's what I want out of fucking Turnstile. They did that perfectly. You guys argue that they did this perfectly. Maybe. This is a great record. But. I'm sick of fucking talking about it. I'm I'm putting my fingers in my ears while you guys discuss. All right, so the, I think this record is much faster than mm-hmm. Not Stop Feeling. <laughs> uh, they replace a lot of the like over the top bounce with groove, mm-hmm. and that leans to me more. Uh, I like it. I was very scared that younger people wouldn't like it. Uh, guess what? Just everybody likes it. It's yeah, this great. is like a yeah a uni- like a unifying yeah. record that everyone's a go. Yeah, it's great. People that hated everything else by them were like, Are I'm in. in. And the real thing, it's straight up, it is, it feels like it's a, a classic, classic song. Song. You just hear it right away and it's like, holy shit. There's other tracks. I actually, when I listened to this time, I was trying to listen to the deep cut tracks uh, that are like, like oh, moon. these, well, well not moon, not but it. around it. But there's yeah. a couple songs around it where it's like, oh, the, nobody talks about this. I'm like, no, these are good songs. Still good, you know? yeah. They're not, There's they're not, skippable songs I think the here. first half of this record is just bang. First yeah. four or five tracks, uh-huh. boom. Throw Moon in there, it's perfect. So maybe I'd say you could cut a couple, but that's most hardcore records. Sure. Um, doesn't overstay its welcome. Doesn't overstay its welcome. Like it more than Nonstop Feeling. My question for both of you. Please. Who hates this record? Uh, haters. Haters. Like people with personality problems. Okay. Like who would hate this record? Right. In 2018, 19. Because, yo, my argument is... The the version of ABC no Rio snobby punk kids that exist now are into this. they still fuck with turnstile <laughs> yeah. in 2019 18 yeah. that that yeah. person doesn't care the damaged city crowd <clears throat> rides for fucking turnstile I'm gonna let you behind the curtain on some shit that I know no, let's hear you uh, there is a contingent of that person that oh. that has been trying to undermine the love Uh-oh. that turnstile of gets course. in that scene uh, and paint them as shit that they are not. And uh, are you reading your receipts right now? Are it, we popping? Are it, we popping people off? No, and it just hasn't taken because these are these are lovable dudes playing music that everybody oh, likes. Really like. Because and, yo, the real these dudes are the real thing. And, yo, the to the to the chagrin of 
corporate record labels and and people who want them to play every big opportunity that is presented to them and believe it, there are. These dudes just kind of do what they want to do and mm. pick their spots. Yes. So big props to them to do it right. You know what I feel like is underrated in this band? Mm. The riffs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I feel like you know totally what, like underrated. I feel like this band is so much about the singer and the bass player. <clears throat> mm-hmm. The guitar player and the drummer are probably the best parts. I think they're merch dude. Best best merch dude in the game. Don't right. they don't get enough credit for he, that? He's star in the video. Star in the star in the video. Oh, he's, he's getting upset. It. Somebody like drove by and honked mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck is in that video. Sometimes you just see someone and you don't like their vibe, so you gotta yell curse words at them and throw shit yeah. at them. And then Sure style. He, he checks, you know, <laughs> he, he he's yeah. he's got like pure Italian guy body in that video. You know, Shockingly so. Yeah, like pure it Italian. That is pure, it for a long pure time. Italian guy body. The the uh, there's there's certain people just that rock that look uh, be- better than anybody. Yeah, <laughs> Shout he, out. He does it. Man of Oaking Beach forever. Cross sex noises out soon. Mm. Um, all right, let's vote. Uh, you you said your vote is a Baba. Yeah, it's a Baba. F- fuck it, I'm sick of this shit. Turnstile, yeah. time and space for a Baba. Hasta la muerte. This might be the toughest one for me. Though. Really? Huh? Yeah, I really like both records. No yeah. shit. Completely divergent sound. Very but, different sounds. But that's my style, babe. Oh, that's it. based on our conversation. I'm gonna, I, thought you, I thought you hated Zabalba. <laughs> Don't say that shit. <laughs> I'm taking uh, Turnstile, Time and Space. I might have to go Turnstile, but that it's Zabalba a close one record is really good. Is really that good. is this a bird steals the ball moment? And he passes it to DJ for the DJ layup. DJ for the layup. Maybe. Yep. Okay. okay, there we go. All right. Um, Freedom. USA hardcore. Okay. Triple it, it is B. that. It is that. It, Triple truth B. in advertising. It's, yeah. 2015 and it's 16 minutes. It's Yo, long. respect to that. It's, it's long. For this style? <laughs> respect to that. How many songs? I don't know. Let me look that up. How many songs do you Sorry. got? Freedom record? No, it's all good. 10? Uh, maybe more than that. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. 11 songs. 11 odd number. 11 songs in the 16 minutes. It's still it's not pretty, too bad. Yeah, it's longer than it you would think for a band like this. Yo, it sticks around. Uh, so so uh, Taylor Young, who uh, Self Defense recorded our last album with, would it was not a matter of... He would not entertain the conversation that the record would have an odd number of songs. Like, he just... Oh, really? He was... In, now, he's not... Is he on some superstition? OCD? He kind of, he, like uh, Stevie Wonder style here yo, or what? If, when Taylor's in the city, we'll have him on because yes. he has straight up some of the most bizarre, like quirks. but not quite wrong ideas about albums. In the same way that you got strong feelings about album art, presentation, yeah, yes, yep. Taylor believes, like he's got rigid views about sequencing, yeah, about, like, about number of songs. Yeah. Like an and, odd number is not cool. It's not like, happening to him. Like really? write something else. But, yeah, like I'm. It, I it might, now I have to go back and look at everything that dude's done and be like everything fourteen. It wouldn't. Yeah, sh- it funny. wouldn't shock me if he like uh, ten, twelve, fourteen. Se- se- secret like every nail secret summer. deleted something. You know what I mean? To make like, sure. Yeah. And, <laughs> like, like we'll make that a, a comp song. Look, yeah. that, if there's any band who had a, an uneven amount that he's been involved with, it'd be nails because it's like that's just not the argument he wants to have. Oh, no, no, no. But but otherwise. Um, Taylor's been very worried about you. Want to make sure you're yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What, what are I tell you? Appreciate you that. Yourself or what? No, no, no. I'm everybody. Mm-hmm. Thank Tears you for balls. your concern. I've just been sad. Most of you spend half your fucking lives sad. I'm just. Why spe- are you looking at me? I, sp- <laughs> <laughs> I spend fucking one month a year sad. This is my month. Jesus Christ! It's been a long fucking That's month. Get over yourself. <laughs> What was your month last year? What the hell were you sad about last well, year? I probably you honestly didn't have, you skip yeah. it. Skip. I skip. Year? Skip the year. Sleep years. Mm, you, skip every year. four. Um, okay. What are we getting into? I just said it. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> USA hardcore. He went on some weird like 2015. They have eleven songs. Sixteen minutes. Eleven songs in eleven minutes. And Taylor would not have abided. All right, by I'll, it. I'll start us off. Um, a modern recording on a lot of riffing of the 80s variety a lot of uh i see a lot of um victim and pain style mosh parts with some negative approach song structures and a gruff skinhead singing over it which who cannot like that yeah, that's good my question for you guys just to kind of get the ball rolling mm. why was this record not more of an introduction for modern hardcore listeners to 80s hard classics. 
Why was it not? Is it not? I feel like this is the band of this ilk that broke through. It is, but I think it's also kind of more of these folks that would do it. I feel like this record is the record that a lot of people who dabble in classic hardcore like a lot, but people who like classic hardcore might dabble with this maybe. And so there's not a lot of crossover. And a lot of people who really like this record might be like, oh no, that's all I need. I just, this freedom record, I don't really, yeah, I mean, Negative Approach is cool. I've listened to them before, but like, this is what I want. This is more my thing. Necros, meh. Right, right, right. You know. AF, that's cool. I like Ignacio Front Fine, but like, The Mob, uh, Well, you know. I mean, we can answer that. This is is something that you could see. You know what I mean? This yeah. is something you could go that's and see. That's 100%. That's, so that's and, one. And it's a compilation of all those songs. You don't have yeah. to own 12 records. You just buy this one. Yeah. And, so, and I think the modern production helps it because I think 100%. we are living in the post. Everything has to be yeah. Can a you imagine streaming, being a kid and like putting on like fucking Can't Close My Eyes, like, like just streaming like the OG version. You're like, what the fuck is this? Okay. So th- this is all interesting conversation because what this amounts to for me is uh, this is the young person, old person divide maybe uh, in a very um, unavoidable way, right? Right. Because people in our age bracket hear this Freedom Record and play a game where they ID all the parts. Sure, sure, sure. You know what I mean? Where oh, they cool. It's ready to fight. This <laughs> right, is fight. right. Yeah, right, right, right. And, and, but then I talk to 24-year-olds that are like, yo, that record is... Is my fucking right. moment? Like, I've never like, heard anything like right. that. Right, right, and uh, that's interesting to me. Now, here's that's a cool. here's the thing. I if this was doing that '90s stuff that I really connected yeah. with, I would 100 percent be a hater of this, right? Because two it, on the nose, two on the nose, uh, two. Uh, uh, to, to borrow without modification, you know what I mean? Sure. Th- that sort of thing. I would 100% be a goblin about it. Like, right. uh, past like a troll. If before a metalcore record, you'd be like, Fuck Yes, I'd be a kobold. I'd be, right. I'd be troll plus, hobgoblin. <laughs> and, it just sounds like Spawn. <laughs> and, and honestly, because, because that's not what it, it is, yeah. and because, like, I just, I mean... This didn't. I got it. I I understood. Yeah. Like you know, like I got every complaint that the old ho- the old folks home kicks me about this record. Right. I really d- I understood it. Yeah. But I just wasn't that mad. You know, what I mean, I just no. I, I don't. I don't. F- there's no mad in my yeah. question because it's not. I'm not mad. I feel like this is the band who, in this tournament, more than any, I think like. They should have had one of those thanks lists like the first H2O LP where it's like, hey, we're going to name every cool hardcore band we can think of. Right. Thinking people are going to look at this and go, okay, I guess I need to hear, yeah. uh, you know, uh, the the Citizens Arrest 7-inch. I guess I got to sure, hear sure, sure, sure. Social Unrest. Okay, I'm going to go yeah. through and dig through all this shit. Um, it's really good. It's better than I probably have given it credit for. More so than even like Youth Crew Sound. Like the early '80s hardcore stuff was something where there was a time where it was like, oh, I just was completely entrenched. When you went Discord mm-hmm. and did Discord deep deep dive, yep, I went like, it's okay, let me go hardcore. through, yeah, mm-hmm. let me go through all classic U.S. hardcore. So like, this is cool. Production takes me out a little bit, which is the inverse. Too well produced for yeah. this style. Just a little clean, but that's fine. Fair, and fair, I think that's fair. you know. But uh, question regarding that, mm-hmm. so. If it had a more of it of uh, of the time, of, of the time yeah. that it's it's hard because that it's like it's you, you, you it's for this much. you're having to dance right you're doing the like oh if you go too much trying to make that sound I'm like your cosplay and if you're going too modern I'm like uh, I just like can you these songs sound you? weird with and, that clear right. yeah yeah now, now people and that's really difficult tough, and yeah. I think that's why like I'm. I've always kind of abstained and gone, you know what, this band, when they play live, I, I enjoy it. I watch it. I'm like, this is cool. And when I listen to the record, I'm like, this is cool. Like, uh, the the song, I think it was the, I wrote it down, it's The End, I believe. Uh, no, Military Issue. The End was another song. I'm like, um, I enjoyed listening to the record. I thought, I was like, oh, I actually thought there were some neat musical themes. It had a real kind of fucking weird military sound and the mm-hmm. drum beat at the beginning. There's just, it's fun. 
but I'm so like I'm I'm just harsh about this, you know. You want to hear a take from me that is going to sound strange coming from me? Hazmat suits on, let's go. No, it, I mean, we don't need them. Don't need them. I weirdly wished this was faster. Oh yeah, you, you know Which what I mean. But that's never me. Crazy. I, yeah. I I'm usually that's not. Fast I'm never Pat. asking. I'm Fast never Corp asking. Pat for, just reared out. I'm I'm with monster Glo- Monster X shirt on. <laughs> Patty could Gloom be over here. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, Mister Steel. Shout girl? out Nate. I'm Mister. I'm Mister Mid Tempo. That's me. Yes. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, not too fast. Not too slow. Yeah. So, uh, but this, I just kind of there was songs that I was like. Feeling the riff, okay. Pick it up, buddy. Yeah, pick it up. Let, 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 let's for this style, it needs to get picked up. Let, let's kick. I thought about it. I went back and forth, and then I was like, you I'm know, like you love, love negative approach. I do, yes. and, but the, but here's the thing: like, it, is there ready to fight moments on here where you're like, where you're like, oh, this is that lurch that I like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, certainly. But Absolutely. but I kind of, I at certain points, I was just like. Let's put a little pepper, it up, let's put a little pepper on this. Let's, let's so get there's a some records that in my head, the Civ set your goals. In my head, that record's like just like ten beats, like it's just faster. It's like yeah. not quite double the speed it is, but it's like a beat and a half faster. You know, like when you listen to the song "Can't Wait One Minute More," it's I can't wait one minute more. And in my head, <laughs> it's can't wait one minute more. I can't, can't wait. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, um, it's just, and when I listen to the record, I'm like, oh, because that's the record hits some speed parts. Yeah. But that song, I'm like, oh, if I can, I'm going to try to put it on one and a half speed and see if it's like what it, it is. really in my scratches head. that yeah. itch. Oh. I mean, at, at two and that might be is this. one of the best orchestra songs in the 90s. Uh huh. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's pretty fucking hard. Oh, it's a great song. Yeah. That record. Oof. I love Oof. that record. Great record. Some people like it more than start today. That's true. We got. We Are you one of them? The table. I think he is. The Civ Records set your goals. Yeah. Oh, the Devil's Grin. This is the first time. See. First like, appearance tonight. Yeah. Uh-uh. Where, <laughs> you can the, say whatever you by want. By the way, feel free, weird metal band, to take the the name the band name the Devil's Grin. Take that. <laughs> it's mm. a good name. I do like it better. <laughs> That's fine. I, mean, I do. do. I do. Um, Although I will say that maybe it's maybe it's not as consistent a record, but like the hits are just really fun. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. You think? I, I I don't it know. It is pretty good. I don't know. I haven't listened to it in, in fucking an eon. We're gonna put it on the listening party. It's okay. just so weird though to me, and we'll get back to Mosh Madness. Mm. That they, in the scheme of things, were bigger than Gorilla Biscuits. Uh, you know what? This and I find this whole I find that whole era very confusing. I don't know because the stuff that was signed to like Hollywood or Lava or anything. Yeah, I have they were on no, Atlantic. I have no idea what it was selling, and I do, uh, and I don't know Set relative sold really well. Yeah, I mean they played them at the Garden, like when the the, that the songs Rangers won the fucking Stanley Cup. Like they played the Garden opening for Kiss. Yeah, like they were a fucking big That's fucking absurd. thing. And then yeah, you throw the Creepers on too, yeah. right? And now yeah. <laughs> But you could book, you know, Bob could book fucking Gorilla Biscuits tomorrow. There'd be yeah. a thousand kids there. Yeah. You could book Siv the next day. There'd be 200 kids there. Yes. Like, it's, it's, the the difference is astounding to me. Time goes by so slowly. Uh, it's also, goes you know, by so quick. fans that you get from certain endeavor, yeah, like, endeavors do right. not necessarily stick right. around. Right. Yeah, yeah, like, like Hoobastank, uh, probably we could book them for the same that we could book Gorilla Biscuits for. And I don't know if Hoobastank's outdrawing Gorilla Biscuits now. No, probably not. Or Sinbad. Or Sinbad. You can book Sinbad for like $1,200. Oh, really? Yeah, That's not bad. That's actually kind of depressing. There was a while there, yo, know, I think that that market, because of access, has really gone down. Maybe because because when we researched booking Puck to play to perform to intro bands at Sound and Fury, it was like a solid three k. Puck from the real world, I should I should get that dude a sandwich, <laughs> three thousand dollars. Be like, and coming up next, yeah. Yeah. throw that dude a couch Turnstile. with mustard, and, and he's he should be playing the show. Two thousand nineteen, I can't imagine. I look what that you, dude's not what top three hundred bucks. Yeah, do you think we should interview Puck if we're out west? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Ask him about the peanut butter. Yeah. Tell him why he was get such the real a dick story. to Pedro. I get uh, so. Do you guys know the backstories? Have we talked about the backstories? I think so, you have. Yeah, one of the one of the house members told a friend of mine. Uh, yeah, we kicked him out because he was dealing drugs out of the fucking house. It wasn't had nothing to do. Oh, it, Name drop. Had <laughs> well, My friend Haley. <laughs> <laughs> we were eating at the Who vegan was seven, cafe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when she was negative three when that no, season not, was that, on. She's like uh, thirty one or thirty two now. Is she? Yeah. Shout out Haley. 
That would still make her Fans. like that was probably, a long, pr- probably eleven oh, when true. the first Real World came out. I so that was the me, third Real World. So someone sent me like right. some like retrospective they did on the Real World. Mm-hmm. I was astounded by the amount of seasons there have been of that show. Oh, tons! And literally every season, I go, I think I know that person. So I don't know if they've gone on to become actors and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Theo the Vaughn, Miz. who was on Road Rules, or maybe he was on. The Is Road that World. him? Is very very funny. I was shocked. Really? He's got a good podcast. Yeah, I, I was shocked. Really? Yeah. Um, He's that. So is he on the, Seattle. The Miz. Theo was the one. Was he the one who smashed the uh, teddy bear as the girl was getting into? The no, taxi? no, no, no. Who was that? Do you remember? Um, I'm pretty. Was solid. that the dude that punched a woman? No, there was an yes. Theo slapped, smacked. Oh, took the teddy bear, threw it in the the sound. Yes, and then. Open the door of the taxi and smack open your hand, face. Open hands. No, but that was an African American guy. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. No, Theo Vaughn is like a fucking hick with a. Oh, okay. Th- Theo's whiter than I am. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and he's got like uh, a mullet. Okay. And, and he's then, not CJ. But then that young woman, uh, she had Lyme disease, and that's why she was so wild ass. Because she was acting crazy. They didn't show all that shit. Yeah. But like, but she was in a Lyme disease moment and acted okay. real wild. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that came out later. I'm up in my real world. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Jesus. Um, um, somebody asked me the other day why you hate Haley Williams. No, do you think and everybody gets that? Do, uh, they, I don't know. Th- they asked, do you think it would blow a young Corman's mind to play set your goals for, or to play the band set your goals uh-huh. for them and say and explain that this was modestly popular and played with everybody? Do you think it would blow their mind? And I said it might. Honestly, I don't they know if were I've picked to do. Uh, full support for the GB tour. Mm. Were they? Yeah. Did they do it? it? Come back. I think it was Come Back Kids Set Your Goals. Did the whole GB 2006 tour? Wow. Yeah. I don't. I. I know that's that an interesting decision. I don't What's know. interesting about that song? I've heard yeah, that a million times because like because because it's like a like constant the, clowning. Yeah, we, we troll you, know? you with it. Yeah. It's constant clowning. We so, we Rick roll you. And I don't know a thing about the actual song. Like I could. I don't know what the song actually really sounds like. Like. Is it cool if I get it? Hold on. Just so you can be educated. I think they're like rapping about the environment or something. You have one of the most famous and talented vocalists. You keep saying this every time. time. And you have her rap. Keep saying this. This, I would would prefer she raps. I hate hate, hate the vocal style. Colin, back me on this one, man. Start rapping, please. Um, okay, what else, what do we got? Um, what, is it, did we vote on this one? Where was it? Oh, we no, we just did freedom. We did freedom. Uh, Tom thoughts because we didn't really get. Oh, it. I'm sorry. It didn't move me. You didn't love this one. It's it's airplanes. Airplanes. If you told Haley to rap, she might hit you with this. Airplanes. Hey, this is this this is the moment where people don't like me. If you like this, you're a loser, and you, I want nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this on any level, if, if you think that this is even acceptable you know, at a high school dance, if you think that this is something this that is they gr- should, that should great be great high school dance. B.O.B. Like is a flat earther. Number one. Yo, that makes him cooler than this song. So look, if, devilish. If you think this is appropriate to play outside of a Hollister in this King of Prussia mall, if you think that this is appropriate for literally fucking anything, I want nothing to do with your ass. I prefer that you're fucking a bad person than you actually fuck with this shit. So that was Axe to Grind. Um, it was a fun while lesson. <laughs> oh, what is Bob gonna say? Bob's gonna snatch me? No, I feel like I don't hate the song. No, it's all right. What is this? But maybe we could just hang out at Hollister and listen to these songs. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you know, is it is it Hollister that has like the shirtless guy outside? Yeah, the this, greeter? so when I showed I'm up, I'm gonna be the greeter. Pat was in just, were you just wearing boxers? No, you were in those shorts. No Is shirt. Clothes, yeah, for a long time. Uh, did you put on a sweatshirt on my account? I, he, Bob told me that it was important that I did it. That you you, you, were, you were gonna, gonna freak out if he was just sitting around. No, it's your it's nude. Your in former the house. home. Yeah, but <laughs> it's kind of his home. But I was. I mean, you pay rent. I was sitting around in like short shorts and shit. It, it, with you no still shirt. are. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> it wasn't to the best look. Poking. Please, God. Okay, so Paramore. Uh, so uh, uh, Freedom uh, Freedom USA Paramore. Hardcore. Yes. Paramore. Whatever the fucking record is. Definitely Riot. Riot definitely uh, the first album. Definitely. Uh, uh, man, I'm blanking on all the album titles. Self titled. Maybe I'm taking USA Hardcore over, but everything else. I feel like this is well played hardcore. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Absolutely. It's not offensive in any way, mm-hmm. but it did not st- strike any chord in me. Okay. And there's, you know, there's no harm in that. It's not meant for everybody. Do you think if you were 24 right now, you would stage dive to this? Probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone Definitely. else seems to love it, so yes. I'm obviously the wrong one. Well, that's kind of the weird conversation that we're having right now because we know so many people that ride for this. You like know people I mean? are like, this is the best hardcore band in the last right, 15 years. Right, right. And people that we wouldn't expect. And, pe- and, 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 yeah. well, and they have the live elements, I think, are good. I mean, I've seen them. They're yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's just kind of missing us in this fundamental yeah. way. And it I don't know what that is. It just doesn't hit me in that like, yeah. fucking, like, it doesn't make me angry. It doesn't make me happy. No. It doesn't make me sad. It does nothing. Mm. It's just there. And All that's we know fine. Is falling, Riot, Brand New Eyes, Paramore Self Titled, After Laughter. Yo. All, all pretty good. Not a bad All five, pretty good. <laughs> all pretty good. I, I like when they just became like an electric. They didn't even bother. Now they're like electro. They didn't bother putting guitars on songs anymore. They're no, like, now it sounds like cruise ship music. Yeah, 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 it does. Did you see the video of her singing with Casey? Uh, what, what were we call Casey, her? Ka- Ka- Katie Mas- 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 Katie Mas- Muskrat. Muskrat. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty good. Hold on. We have ta- sorry We've for, talked about that Sorry one for we're everybody here. That one. Have we talked about that? Did I make you listen to uh, who, 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 who's the who's the your hair is everywhere guy from dashboard fucking confession. dashboard confessional? Did you did you did you hear the fucking? But don't listen to Paramore. You, no, did you listen to that? Da- did I make everybody listen to the no, dashboard song? Pull it up. What song? To it. It, it's their new song that is straight up a Disney tune. It's murder on your ears. Okay, do you want? Let me throw out a real world world fun fact so we can circle it back to that, and then while well, you look for this, uh, <clears throat> Eric Nice. You guys familiar? from the grind? The grind, um, the first season of Real World yeah. in New York. Also on Mark Porter's high school football team for a hot minute. No way! So he's a short guy. There you go. Did not yeah, know that. Monmouth County. There we go. Oh my god! Just frozen too. It's so Disney. It's fucking insane. in a world Listen. where. Oh my god. This is He's real, everybody. This. You're, you're bopping. He's bopping. Wait, this is my number one clowning moment of the, uh, like, that I put this on when I need somebody to laugh you, with you me. You could beat up Chris Barabba. Kinda, yes, sorta. Kinda, yes, sorta. Kinda, yes, sorta. Tell me that there's not a cartoon crab singing that. Like, <laughs> 100%. <laughs> or like, Two best friends against oh, the world. So fucking love. bad. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, uh, it, it, I I've gone down such a hole on that song because it appalled me when I first heard it. Like should it blew we start my making videos? Mind. We should make the video. Yo, let's talk crab. about this. <clears throat> Two best friend crabs. Let's talk about this. Swimming under the ocean. You're each other's lobsters. Yeah. When you do an overt clownishly quote unquote sellout song it's obviously you're just trying to get on like yeah. uh, that know, Spider-Man movie right 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 right, whatever. So wants another, yeah. right exactly mm-hmm. yeah. when you do that shit and it doesn't when, and it works yeah. but it pe- tanks it, well when it works people just sort of nod to you they they think right. you did what you had to Fair do play. to you know but when it's it's being screamed out into the chasm and nobody's yeah. responding this shit has no listens nobody gave no. a fuck no. and like that to me is like very bleak that's like being a pop act that's playing in front of 12 people a hardcore act playing in front of 12 people natural selection Fucking uh, fucking pop acts playing yeah. pop act? Act. Oh. We got a lot of that this week. South by Southwest. I have a funny oh, story yes. about that dude, mm. and we might, like, Mr. Caraba, take a time just in case we have. To okay, yeah, sure. Okay. It's not that bad. I had a friend that worked for him mm. relatively recently, mm. and they were playing in some venue, a big enough venue, maybe in Canada. I don't remember 100. percent And my friend got fired. Because Chris Caraba was playing, looked up from the stage, and noticed my friend who was selling merch was looking at his phone. Okay, so I know which friend that is, and he wouldn't care. We're going to leave that in. Yeah. You know who it is. Yeah. So we're going to leave that. He doesn't give, he yeah. doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck. Oh, you know him. Uh, not the, actually, not who I assumed it was, but yes, also know him. Okay. So get this shit out of here. Uh <laughs> USA Hardcore over Paramore any day. What was this up against? Yeah. Uh, Paramore. Uh, everything we know is fun. That beats every fucking Paramore All right, song. let's go. The, this the is, last one? No, there's one more matchup after For this. For the love of Christ. Um, it is How? up against God's Hate, Mass Murder, Closed Casket Activities, 2016, 30 Minutes. Okay. Can I go in? Uh, my favorite song is the first song, Extermination. Go in. Okay, let's go. I- hey, can I get in on this? I am this band's biggest apologist. Yeah. I think that this actually kind of rules. And I'm... Because you are from a town that is adjacent <laughs> to Troy, New York. <laughs> oh, uh, you're doing You grew up it. watching this. I really, really 
actually like this. And oh, yes, I hear the Troy. I, it's dip, so it's Troy and Hapri. It's dipped in Troy. Okay, yeah, all right. But dipped with in soccer Troy. chants instead of vocals, because yeah. because this everything on this to me sounds like a soccer chant, and I really fucking like this record. It's a, a, a an actual burly dude with the burly yeah. voice. It makes so, sense. So if the Bouncing Souls went beat down, you'd be with it. Yeah, probably. Okay. Like if it's like, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ole, 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 ole. Yeah, break Move up. Move up front, you fucking pussy. Yeah, yeah. Br- break up the vuvuzelas. So, so here's the thing. I, I, uh, I, I get that this. I let me hit you with a crazy idea. Oh. I didn't know that this was such a taste specific thing. I thought everybody would be bopping to this one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean I can see that. <laughs> and it, and people hit me and were like, "Oh no, that's not a sound I fuck with at all." And I'm like, "What?" It's it actually like it actually kind of surprised it's, me. And it's weird because the the Troy sound was 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 renowned by a bunch of people in the last few years more so than I would have expected. Yeah, so but like it's kind of like that's like a fake percolation. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's a lot of loud voices. Yeah, um, because. Look, I think the Troy stuff had m- more of an impact than than it's often given credit, but it's kind in of... In certain places. Right, but it's kind of... Uh, in Van yeah. Nuys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Montreal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. It, but, it, it, you can probably extend it to the whole San Fernando Valley. When those, But those bands, the actual Troy bands, are kind of hard to take onto land. You know what I mean? Like, they're hard to... They don't. Yeah. They're very seen. They specific. can't. They can't dock off the Hudson very easily. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this respectfully because I like a lot of that stuff now. But like, you live in Albany now, and you gotta watch your back. Yeah, I gotta watch my back. You're trying, uh, to, go, you're trying to go. You. you seen that spot, Nighthawk in Troy? Supposed to, it looks like a good eatery. I don't go to Troy unless I have to. Um, yeah, don't the, cross the river. The, the uh, but no, uh, th- this stuff traditionally doesn't travel well. You know what I mean? It just kind of like it, it is. It's it's like you were saying about. Uh, uh, fucking Castle Heights. You, you know what I mean? It's like yeah, it, it, it's yeah. hard to take out of its element, uh, but if you come into its element, you can really appreciate what's going on. Right. And when someone from across countries, it's completely yeah. out of that element. So people, people that listen to them are not necessarily familiar with fucking Section Eight. No, or sure. Fucking straight jacket. Yeah. No. No. Fuck. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. So it's new to them. Sure. I gotta. I gotta pull in a favor and ask. I don't. Straight jacket. I want to say we're like fucking. Mac- not Mechanicville. They, they, I don't. Anyway, but they might not be true. They're not true, but they're, right, but they're, they're, of, they're of the era. I'll, for I'll, sure. I'll ask someone who will definitely. Yes, know. please. Um, was you, that face cast? They did some members that? went on to face cast. That's yes. a joke, right? Yes, 100% Ve- very kind of, much. It's very brutal. I watched that video recently, and it's f- hard to watch. It's, ah, it, ah, it's not of the moment. <laughs> no, it wasn't of the moment when it came out. No, not that long ago. <laughs> and um, I remember. Yeah, sorry. No. Uh, Quite yeah. a thing. Uh, that do, <laughs> do we think? Who's Evan Seinfeld's wife? Tara Patrick. Tara Patrick, yeah. Do you think that the Biohazard X porn means Biohazard X San Fernando Valley? Do we think there's a crossover between the hard sounds of New York coming to the, the valley? Can we give that credit to Evan? I don't know where this is coming. Oh. Because porn is so hard big. sounds. No, because porn coming is... Coming so, so wait... You d- d- might d- not be aware. So Van Nuys is an insane place because yes, it I've is... I've never been. Okay, so... Uh, it's, it's first time I was in Van Nuys. I went to the blockbuster on whatever mm-hmm. on uh, La Siena. No, uh, right, no, no you just, you, know, you just wanted to say is it. it. What is it? No, uh, uh, Ventura Boulevard. Mm-hmm. Is that the main ride through fucking Gonna whatever? Blockbuster Ventura Boulevard. And saw two porn stars decked, like coming from a shoot or. Uh, sure. And I was like, oh my God, like this is real right? life. So is that the is that the deal? So Van Nuys is where a ton of rolling door uh, kind of industrial space studios exist that almost exclusively shoot pornography, oh. and if you there's a label over there that if you walk from that la- like a you know kind of like uh, it used to be a punk label now it puts out I don't know guys scream sing screaming rappers I don't know what the fuck Crap. it does but but uh, if you walk from those offices to get a, to get food you walk by five of those l- uh, rolling door spots in a row and it's just they're uh, very like nondescript it's not like a sign yeah, d- n- totally nondescript and I, 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 did I did, were you guys aware that I did a what I, I know I, I I reported I reported <laughs> redacted part yeah. okay yeah, I reported on a on a porn thing for for because it was a, 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 
a Star uh, Trek uh, porn thing. So, oh, nice. so, so a kind of like a you, you know like a, like a geek media outlet like like mm, look at this. I said hey, they, on they, my they, balls. They, they said we're look. They said we're looking for somebody to to write on this and i said i'm I'm, i'll spend the morning with my friend and then go to this shit because he was works at the label whatever and i walked over this shit and uh so you were in the room while porn was being made yes yeah yeah is that weird (laughs) um very transactional like very businesslike no very actorly it's 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 a i mean it reminded me exactly of being on other types of sets it it, 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 was exactly like it uh they have a thing a scene to cut and they cut the scene yeah um fluffers exist I didn't see any fluffers, honestly. Uh, and I interviewed a bunch of the people, really interesting uh, cast of characters. The one guy, uh, he was, he was, he looks like, he kind of like has like a LeVar Burton vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. And Did he, he play that character? No, but he was, tur- he was turning 30. Uh-huh. And African American guy, uh, trying to make it as an actor, mm-hmm. had always done like, like bit, a mainstream bit part. Yeah. And he's at that crossroads in his life where he knows sure. like oh i'm a black dude it, the, and i don't have a name yet it only gets harder as i get over 30 right. you know what i mean the, the, like hollywood not not good to black guys it only ever lets two guys in the door at any right. one time right you know what i mean and, and they and like they've the both they both guy. they've both played roadie in in the iron man film so <laughs> yeah. you know what the fuck is my future right. so he's walking out of a library and a guy says to him hey man uh, want to make hundred bucks? Yeah. No, he says. Is that pretty much how it goes? He, he said, "You." He said, "You want to be an actor?" And he goes, "Yo." He goes, "It's funny you should say that, my dude." He's like, "I have representation. I am a fucking actor. I, but I, and I don't typically respond to men yelling at me from their car. Yeah. Do you want to be an actor? But, and he's joking with him. He's like, yeah, but thinking like it's mainstream. Yeah. 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 And he's like, he's like, yo. Uh, you got like a nice body. Good look. Like, how's your dick? He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> and he's like, and, turn. And, and he's wow. like, he's like, he's like, I'm not looking for anything, man. He's like, no, no, no it's straight. And he's like, he go, he takes the guy's card, goes home, has that like stare in the mirror thing like of being like, am I ever going to be an actor of the mm-hmm. type I want? Or can this afford me a lifestyle? Put away some money and start a life someplace at whatever. Yeah. And he, he, <clears throat> Effort. Really interesting guy, uh, blogs a lot. You know what? He is the that whole. Are oh, M- you still in touch with him? No, but that whole MMA community. Yeah, he started posting on. He does. He doesn't know shit about it, but he his friend was really into weightlifting, MMA shit, yeah. and he's like, "Yo, my roommate's a porn guy," and, and they're like, "No way, dude!" And then he goes on. And he's like, eh, "I can answer your questions." And so then an AMA for and became wildly popular in that scene because mm. he was just honestly answering all the questions. You right. know what I mean? Which everyone. I mean, who doesn't have questions? <clears throat> right. Really fascinating kid. This reminds me. I meant to look him up the other day because he was on my mind yeah. because like he his work. Was, you know, he was you like found the star. I haven't log seen that it. You wrote up that. <laughs> I, I yeah. haven't seen this kid, and I watch enough porno that I should see At him. Some point, right? right, but I haven't seen this kid. He oh, it's been a he minute. was the dumb. 23 year old that was like sleeping in his car and then realized he's like I don't know man I was given this big dick I think I should do it you know and he's like and I love it and like and but different guy different guy, guy different, different guy, different guy. this is like an Italian looking kid this but, is a weird turn I don't know but the, here's what I'm getting at I wanted to look up this kid recently because he was ready to take over the world you know these bands that you meet sometimes mm-hmm. I met a band who was who was like, hey, can you give us advice on touring full time? We're ready to go for it. And I'm like, oh shit, you know what I mean? Right, right. Be- because a lot of people so did don't. So this guy ask you like, hey, fellow big schlong haver? Yeah, what yeah. He said, he said, how's this work? And I said, <laughs> well, I said, well, you got to play with it for a while. It gets hard. No, he he, he was <laughs> just. Sometimes you got to tuck it in your sock, bro. It's finally good. <laughs> he was wrapping around the leg, man. <laughs> he was just really confident that he was going to be the next porno guy of note. You know what I mean? That he. Or, I mean, I, and I'm not trying to be puritanical of it. Yeah. Are there porno guys? Like no, there's guys you see all the time. You there's don't give a fuck about the like name. John Holmes. I know who John Holmes is. Right, but no, nah, I mean, just there's like three the dudes English you know guys. But you're like, oh, you keep popping up in my. <laughs> Literally, everybody yeah. who watches mainstream porn right now is sick of this Englishman who who has Chelsea tattooed on his arm in big letters. Everybody on earth is sick of looking at this guy's fucking dick. Yeah. But anyway, point is, I this kid had such a bravado and confidence, and like you know, I'm sitting here hoping he made it. But it's it, whenever you encounter those people. You do want to look him up later and be like, "Did you make it? I don't know. Yeah, I, like, haven't, okay. I haven't like, seen your ass in a long time." He's but ranked ninety fourth on Pornhub. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. he's maybe he's killing. It. I don't know. But um, at any rate, uh, fascinating day 
in Van Nuys. Van Nuys. I'd like to read that article. Porno capital. Uh, porno capital. And interesting. really interesting. So you'll just see these. In, in the morning, you see women in sweats right. with uh, roller roller, bags. roller luggage, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, walking into totally nondescript uh, s- s- sort of roll up. And they make the sets look like places. Uh, this one was a convincing uh, Star Trek set. Or like where people were like, hey, like the director we're not was, actually on a couch, or we're dir- on a couch, but we're in a fucking weird. Director yeah. was so fucking fun because he was he had vision, and he's like, yes. and he was like. You know, people don't want vision anymore, but it's all I've got. I've got just a, a ton idea, of vision. Yeah. And then it, I would producing it, and directing over on. talking to him. A, it, you'd be surprised. Really? I feel mm. like it's like, uh, you know, Yo, do this and then turn around and do this. And then I got to see his script killing it. The script is like a, <laughs> yeah. a treatment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway. So you can tell the ones that are looser and tighter, not necessarily yeah. by performance. Um, section, eight, section 8. Yeah. <laughs> section 8 is from Clifton Park. No, not cl- not section eight. Straight jacket. Oh, I'll find out right now. <laughs> uh, Featuring tiny. Face, yes, face correct. Um, okay. Uh, and and we can easily say Van Nuys is Troy, California. You could make some parallels. Yeah, say it's the Troy. Um, so you guys didn't love this the way I love this. No, it's I, cool. I, okay, it's heavy as fuck. Mm-hmm. There's parts uh, to put it into the stuff I can. The first song exterminated. There was parts I paralleled to uh, sheer terror, which is a weird thing, but it. Kind of uh, singier but hard still, still really heavy vocal style. Right over like a fun double bass part. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. I don't know how much it would be a go to for me, but um, it lost me a couple bits. A little long for my taste, but mm. I can see why someone really liked this. They played a show at uh, Game Changer. Yeah. Did they play one of the No Warning shows? Is that possible? Yes. Yes, they definitely did. And they murdered. Mass murder. Killed. Yeah. Really? Killed that I was blown away by the reaction. Love to hear that. And I mean, this that was not really kind of their show. No. You know what I mean? I think it was that. Or was it the last Mongolia show? Mongolia show. I think they played the No Warning shows. I I just remember them on the flyer. I just remember, like, they got a giant reaction. Do you know, do you know, I was saying chant. Do you know what this vocal actually is? What? It's a call and response with himself, and, and yeah, I think that that's like a very funny. Yeah, well, it's, fun, it's like yeah. a very funny thing and <laughs> to do. Gigantic. I mean, this yeah. makes sense for him. Like, if it didn't sound like this, it would be like, well, "What are you doing?" Yeah, yeah. 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 It'd so, be weird if he had some little like mousy voice, right? Or like it wasn't heavy as fuck, right? Yeah. Dude's a gigantic human being. My question for this. Go ahead. I like this shit. I would like to get more of this shit. I'm, I'm just here, like to give a shout out to my friend here who oh. sings for God's Hate. Okay, yeah. yeah. His uh, professional name. Brody King. Mm, that is a very professional name. Very well, good name. He's wrestling at Madison Square Garden. Is that right? In April. Yo, oh, God bless amazing. him. That's good for that's him. That's fucking cool shit. Good for he him. He broke his goddamn arm probably a week or two ago, probably a month ago from this when you're yeah, hearing yeah. this. Yeah. And he like we're he's I mean like, he's gonna do whatever he can, like, but he's, he's gonna, gonna be wrestling it. at the fucking garden. It's amazing. Yeah, that's a moment. That's, that's cool. cool shit. That's cool. Like, Sh- dude's making a living off of fucking wrestling. That's awesome. Um, shout out to him. Great question for this band. In this record, what's the dream tour for God's Hate? You're you're booking them, and you've they're got not booking launch. themselves. No, you're booking it for them. Uh, in 2019, we're talking current acts. Um, oh, Straight Jacket, according to uh, my upstate source, Hans is from Truly Awful Music Village. New York. <laughs> That's not nice. Uh, oh, shout mean. out Overnight Drive. So. Wait a we second. I know you guys like hardcore. Um, you don't gotta pretend. Yeah, no. Stop acting like you don't like that shit. Both no, they have their moments where they... Do it. A- A- Andrew's probably listening to ASOC right now. Almost certainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we'll we'll the, listen to the Final Conflict LP when you guys come over. Who who, who are who am I putting this out with? Hatebreed. Hatebreed would be... Uh, okay, Hatebreed is... A, uh, that would be good. Hatebreed, yeah. Zobalba. Mm, okay. Zobalba wouldn't be bad at all. Um, yeah. We need so, one... All right, so Hatebreed, Zobalba, God's Hate, and let's give them a band an opener. opener. Mm-hmm. Younger, newer band. Oh, go with something like Never Ending Game. You know okay. what I mean? Mix yeah, it up. There we go. Oh, and I, I would be cool with them doing a weekend together. That's nice. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. yeah. That would cool. be good. All right. Um, anyway, I really like this, but I didn't realize that it is very much a matter of taste. I didn't realize that. All right. So. They haven't done much since this record. No, I don't think. It seems. Freedom, USA Hardcore, up against God's Hate, Mass Murder. God's Hate. I'm a God's Hate man. I'm going to buy a God's Hate shirt right now online. Who's selling them? 
uh, closed casket. Closed casket. Okay, let's do it. Use that motherfucking promo code. Let's yeah. do it. I am gonna go. I'll go freedom. Sure. Okay. T- tighter than you might think. The last matchup of the entire goddamn Mosh Madness. Fuck, really? So people have been asking us to do more of these. Are they out of their fucking mind? It's a mind? lot of work. I hope you all get it. This was a lot of work, a lot of time. Uh, we enjoyed it. It was really fun. We may do something else like this. We see any biting ass biters. We've seen a few biters trying to do things we'll like you. that we would do. Don't do that. Do you. Do I your saw own somebody thing. do a tournament on a specific year. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Oh, anything. when? The 2009 one? No, like, uh, no, 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 no. There was kids who did a 2009 tournament. I want to give them a shout out. I don't remember who it is. Might have been Florida kids, but like, shout out for doing that. Probably. Oh, no, it wasn't That's even hardcore long, related. And this was before we did our shit. Oh, no, this oh, wasn't no, even hardcore. Oh, related. yeah. It was, it was like, not- let's talk about the best records of 2000, oh, whatever yeah. it was. And it was like, and we'll do a tournament. I'm like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? Mm-hmm. They're, they're at a medium. You stop copying. Um, so don't copy. Not a, you're not it's a lot of work, anyways. You don't think I'm a medium? I'm definitely a medium. You're, me- you're small. Oh, really? Um, he, th- uh, the Stray Jacket, think Cohoes. That might be right. Then some not so nice things. That might be right. <laughs> um, okay, the last one. Yes. We got Nachos, Worthless, released on Relapse Records in 2011. Okay. 26 minutes. My favorite songs, Old Friends Don't Mean Shit. And I like the weird song, Jock Power Violence. Yeah, Jock Power Violence is good. Cool. Yeah. Weird, weird part, talky part through it. Uh, we got nachos. Yeah, we got nachos. I really like this record. I, I mm-hmm. thought one of us would. It I, is. It, it, it's hard. It's harder than it deserves to be. Yep. Uh, and it is incredibly fast. It, it's it's fast. very proficient. It, it's so in, in fast with a better recording. I think that, but I also I appreciate that they did some tempo changes. A lot of tempo. Yeah. Which like it takes it from being like oh, okay, this is just fast core like power violence, whatever you want to call it, and and just. Is they do it? They do it well. Like, I, I might. I'm definitely in the minority. I prefer this to Harm's Way, but that's like two things that diverged because both they these share, bands they, they share. shared members, uh-huh. maybe. Mm. Um, and now the dude from this band is the band that, that he recorded like the foundation record, right? Is that? <clears throat> oh, uh, I yes. Believe right. Yes, that's Chicago. correct. Yes. Um, yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, so uh, this dude knows heavy. This dude knows fast, and it shows. Whoever the drummer is for this band deserves a, a gold star because I think that really shines through. Did you see? Have you seen this band live? Uh, a million years ago, yes. So, uh, when I saw them in Birmingham, the drummer played mostly nude. I want to say wearing just a bondage mask that covered his eyes. Okay. Uh, so he played blind sure and bolt? played. It had a very lightning bolt <laughs> art punk sort of thing going on. You sure on. you weren't in Providence? <laughs> it was a Providence vibe. Um, but, Shout uh, out Providence. Uh, yeah. It, Andy Nelson. Andy Nelson uh, is the oh, engineer yeah. for so, so many yeah. hardcore records that people that are in this tournament actually. He, he might be the, him and Taylor might be the biggest winners in this fucking tournament because yeah, they had the most yeah, touches a, on all a lot of A lot of things that they uh, had contact with. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, you know, I, I don't uh, talking about people's money is weird, but this kid undercharges. He does a great job. Yeah, go get a steal. It, it's for real. Like enter the, the promo code, axe the grind. No, but like he, he's get. he's really good at what he does. You know, what I mean, he, makes record. He made a foundation record that you can back. Yes, One, he, he captured them live. He he makes hard sounding records. He's yeah. he's good at what he does. Um, okay, so I like this. I think I like their sense of humor. It's snarky but not mean. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um. I was surprised at how slow it got on some of it. Well, in a cool way. Like, I really like it. I was thinking mo- throughout most of this, I was like, oh, this is not power violence. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, no, like, no. Like, like, I was it, like, when it gets there, it gets, when it gets very there, heavy, it gets very quick, but like, yep. it's a lot of uh, like super fucking slow. It's yeah. awesome. I really liked it. Uh, I asked Bob before we went to air, why do you think this band was such a t shirt band? And he probably had the right answer the name. Yeah, and they had a Freddy Krueger shirt. I don't remember the Freddy Cougar shirt, yeah. but the, 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 they, and the uh, name is awful, but you can't forget it. Okay, so that brings me to my question. I didn't check them out because of that. Uh, Bob's in the same, same, exact same boat. boat. Did their name help them or hurt them help more? The, help them a million times. I think it hurt them. I know people too. that don't listen to this style of music in any way, shape, yep. or form who 
checked it out because of the three shirts. Yep. I don't know if they're listening to the music. I don't care. I'm pretty sure they're label mates with you. Because Run for Cover put out a single by them. No shit. Did yeah. they do the Weezer thing? Yes, they did. That we, have you heard? I, oh yeah, no, you haven't. I'm gonna, you haven't heard the originals either. But I'm text they did and a, tell them it's not a Weezer not good. cover it's record. Not kosher. That just, is incredible. Uh, just delete no, this from the discography I'm not, page, please. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not so. fucking with that. Jack, yeah. um, shout out to Drew in this band who is in a couple bands now, mm-hmm. uh, and I believe has done. There's a weird rotation of dudes in Chicago who like have all played in Owen and I think he's one of those guys but, <laughs> but and he's a spine guy too right one of the uh, didn't some of these dudes become spine uh, Drew's not drummer not Drew. someone, someone drummer was. became a singer in spine that's correct right. uh, Dr- Drew oh, is wow. not Drew is not uh, in spine Drew is in hate force okay yeah and Shout out hate force Close uh, casket. and is a, 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 a sometimes harm's way affiliate yeah, yeah. like a, a studio affiliate and uh, Drew sent me his new. Uh, this is a bad shout out because I don't remember the name, but he has a rock act that I wish both of you are, would really enjoy. Yeah. I found it to be like kind of in that power pop space, uh, but with like much more of may- maybe where maybe it's maybe Ryan Adams is not a good reference right now. No, no, but, no. <laughs> but, but I think it had some of that. The things that people love. Graham in that. Parsons. We'll okay, say, yeah, let's like say Brian Adams. Adams. Okay, whatever. Brian yeah. Adams. <laughs> Canada's <laughs> finest. Canada's finest. Um, Behind Rush, obvi. But anyway, uh, yeah. Drew is one, in my view, Drew is one of the most talented people in hardcore I music. I think this band straddled the line that we kind of talked about a little bit. Like, Ceremony was doing the fast core kind of thing, but people who were really into power violence, the purists were like, fuck this. Weekend Nachos, because of their name, had a lot of people doing the same, quirky. fuck this, mm. but... They kind of straddle the line where people are like, "No, no, like, like, listen to the band. It's, 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 it's really, really good. Well it's really good. It's, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not modern core. It's this, this, that." And I think they still suffer from that. I, I gave this record a shot and I was really impressed with it. So Same. shout out to this record. Um, do you guys? Uh, yeah, I've got some thoughts age. on Troy Core. Oh yeah, from. from- from our friends, uh, one of the hosts of Overnight Drive, Troy Core was big into riding. <laughs> Troy Core was big into riding dirt bikes year round, That's but true. not in a cool Mad Max way. More like this is my life now, and this is how I ended up. <laughs> a band name driven by rage. I can't read this live. Actually, I gotta read it first. <laughs> okay. Okay. A band name driven by rage recruited two singers because the original singer would get. Too tuned on beer to finish a set. <laughs> tuned on beer. And there'd be more like a relay race baton pass halfway through the set. One of the lines they had was, show me some respect, you fuck. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Shout out, driven by rage. Um, all right. La- uh, um, last record. I, I distinctly recall the guy from Execution Style showing up on a dirt bike to, to bogeys with oh, that, this, is, this is the way my life ended. That, <laughs> turned out that ha, that had uh, like it was it was um, what do you call it uh, like stenciled out uh-huh. on the dirt bike execution uh-huh. style. Okay, how far are you from year round dirt bike lifestyle? <laughs> You're pretty close, man. I'm really cl- I'm really close. I'm re- yeah. I'm really we close. Did the, we did the little ride on the um, the fucking Honda, the Express. Mm. Not not an express. What was it? The ruckus. The ruckus. Um, I don't know if that does you right. You got a taste of it though, and now you know what you want. You now, need a dirt bike. So okay, what what if I rent a place for seven hundred dollars on City Island and ride a, a Honda Ruckus into the city when I need to? I back it. Does that work? I'm with it. I think if you go full dirt bike, because then sometimes you need to get upstate. You can take the dirt bike. You, upstate. you can ride the ruckus all the way upstate. It'll take okay. six hours. But what do I what got do you to doing? do? <laughs> right. The fuck else you doing? Are you in a gotta, rush? I gotta go home. Are you in a rush to five one eight? Fuck no. Five one eight. Uh, Soul Search. Bury the blame. The very last uh, record we'll talk about. Thank you guys for joining us. We Soul listened Search, to bury the blame. Eight records. I know. Triple B. Two thousand eleven. Eight minutes. Triple B. Triple B. Second most uh, records uh, in the tournament. Them and Close Casket tied right behind Deathwish. This band. Is named after a demise song, and it sounds like demise. This sounds Ooh. like the very first East Coast Assault compilation record. Oh, that's an interesting Ooh. take. This is literally everything on that. 
Okay. Have you ever heard of that? Yes. yes. Oh, please. Have you heard the Converge song that sounds like Biohazard? Uh, I, is that which Converge song is it? The one blind, that sounds like. Maybe? Hold on. Like Overcast? It's like such a wild comp. Yeah, I remember. Do you know Dying Breed lyrics? <laughs> <laughs> no. Give me some respect, you fucker. Look you in know, the sky. You fuck. Look in the sky, Jesus Christ. Save oh, us from your world. Yes, yes. What a great line. <laughs> Look to the sky. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Save us from your world. That was a big deal. In- <clears throat> uh, let's see. The original East Coast Assault. God, this album. That, that cover is taken outside my hometown venue. Uh, oh. oh, no, no. It's a different one. Um, is this the first back. one? Yep. Oh, only living witness was on overcast. Yep, twitching yeah. tongues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not the band, everybody. The song, um, the song, the track. Okay, uh, next step up. Damn, um, your sin with minus Marauder. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we're gonna do yo, dude. This is a great comp. This is this made me into the the man right you are today. today. Yeah. Uh, let's <laughs> let's uh, listen. Do a Sam Black Church. Uh, discography it. listen at some point. Oh my god! How, do you think we could do it? Discography listen. Yeah, do you think we could do what it? What kind of pain no. are you? Looking do you think at? we could do it? No. Uh, let's do it, and then we do Paramore back to back. Let's go, dude. Let's do it. What do you got? Hold on, everybody. I think I found. Look, in, look to the sky, I, Jesus Christ. Christ! I think Save I found the band. This is hold on. This is terrible content. Uh, Tom, do you remember one time I said, "What is this fucking Brooklyn band that I cannot remember the name of?" Yeah. I think it's confusion. I think I said that back. Did then. you? Yes, okay. You well, yes, I th- you all right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> rules. <laughs> okay. Um, Have you ever listened to them? No. This is the one that I it's only good. listened to for this podcast and was like, "Oh, how did I overlook this?" And, and it was from 1993 and had a seven inch out in France. Yeah, yes. that'll do yeah, it. That would do it. That'll do it. Okay, um, everybody. Where are we at? Soul Search, Bury the Blame. Oh, okay. I heard, I, heard, I heard a lot of Ti. We hear Ti, but T-Y. I think that's actually a good reference. If you ask those dudes, they're probably, yeah, it's nice. My favorite song is Nobody's Nothing. Uh, this band had a real flash in the pan. I mean, in California, it feels like it still resonates. Like, it feels like kids are still People talking People still ask for that LP. Yeah, they are. Yeah, recorded. And uh, my question is, what should this record be looked at as? I, yo, I... Is it a footnote? Is it a moment? Was it a moment? It feels like it was a moment. Yeah. But it wasn't a big moment in California. It was a weird time. It was like an in-between time. Right, um, but th- I think this was a band who a whole generation of people were like, "Yo, this is about to be our band." Yeah, and then it, they disappeared. Yeah, so fucking hardcore big Bigfoot on this. Yeah, uh, it's very nineteen ninety one New York hardcore, mm. Mm. which makes sense because we, you know, there's a lot of TUI pulling from that pool too. Yeah, and a weird, it's like that weird dead period in hardcore in New York. Uh, I. I did not know what this was going in. Mm-hmm. I've heard about this record forever. Mm-hmm. California kids ride. They ride so mm-hmm. fucking hard for this. But I didn't I thought it was much I thought it was maybe more straightforward or maybe more youth crew. I, I didn't know what I was getting into with this. Mm-hmm. Uh and it's not. No, it's not at all. No. <laughs> it's all. It's uh, metal, but it's not that metal. Uh no, it's a, it's a pretty hard record. Yeah. I, f- I, f- yeah. I found the recording to be uh, really pretty good. Like it it beats, you know what I mean? Like, it, uh, but did they all record that? Uh, I think it's an early one for him. Maybe. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, mean, I, b- I like the I'm vocal cadence sure. a lot. I think he, he yep. hits a lot of spots. This is a band who it would have been really interesting to see had they stuck it out, did some full U.S. touring because they were also they got signed to Rev. And, and oh, did, they ever, right. did they ever put a record out on Rev? They reissued a seven inch. That was it. That was it. And then they probably I don't think they ever did anything after that. They didn't. Like in terms of like playing. Well, there's an LP recorded with no vocals. That's yeah. Right. Uh checked with a California dude. Uh Soul Search was definitively a moment. Yeah, I think it was. Like it mattered to, yeah, well, yeah. Ca- to California kids. Yeah. Um so I didn't there was nothing to hate here. You know, I mean certainly mm-hmm. I could not find anything to hate. But I also, it was hard for me to sink my teeth into the same way that maybe the the uh, Freedom record was yeah. hard for you to sink your teeth into. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at no point was I mad. No. I also just wasn't in love either. I feel like any record that hit the top 64. Hard to say it sucked. Yeah, it's good. Hard very to say it sucked. Few, you may not very love it, few but it's sucked. good. Yeah, hard, yeah. To, hard to say it sucked. Lots that might not hit wet your whistle, but, yeah, but plenty that are yeah. not good, bad. And everybody who's been on this ride with us, thank you, yes. because I know a lot of you and guess what? We we got to see stream info on almost all this. Yo, this tournament 
helped a lot of people discover some of these bands, then we'll kind of leave it there. But you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, like, and you're welcome. You know, like how 100% is as high as you can go? Yeah. We somehow beat that. <laughs> well, uh, this episode has been crazy. I feel like we're loopy because uh, we've done so many of these fucking, fucking listen throughs uh, yes. that we're now insane. And, and, Let's vote. Talking hey, hey, we gonna, yeah, I was going to talk, talk, talking right, let's Japanese vote. and Korean let's do baseball. The last vote. Yeah. But uh, let's do the last vote. It's Weekend Nachos Worthless Up Against Soul Search Bury the Blame. Okay, neither of these blow my skirt up. I just respect so. them both. I'm going Nachos. 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 Okay. Wow. All right. California's going to bury us on that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'll bury the blame. <laughs> and that other, was. I have other notes from Hans on upstate stuff that just definitely can't be settled. Okay. There. <laughs> too, too, too much. I, I care for his safety. It's, it's too real. Yeah. It's, it's, he it's think, very he, real. Doesn't he live up there? He yes, lives up there. So he's gonna get his, he's gonna get no. brained on New Scotland if he doesn't watch his mouth. You know what? I don't want to speak for maybe a couple of the dudes up there that are still mad about shit, but it's mostly love up there. We're all it's old all now. Love. You know yeah, what I mean? Love. It's hard. It's hard to be mad. You I pull saw, up on your dirt bike outside old bogies and you just. Hang around, dwell in the memories. Did you ever watch Pass Out YouTube Hard Candy? Guy. You got a weekend here alone? Yeah, I don't know. Have you watched any? So the the dude that did the New York Hardcore Chronicles, yep, um, did a side venture or whatever they call it, the mm. side quest mm-hmm. with Bob Riley. Uh, I saw Bob Riley going through his his own There's records. Like two or three episodes. It's actually really fucking cool because that dude collects everything. So for people that don't know Bob Riley, Bob Riley is of Stigmata, Stigmata yeah. um, who is also so OG that it's hard to, it's it, like he's more yeah. OG than we even think he's OG. Yeah, like his first band was like 1985. Yeah, like he, he's been around a long minute uh, and... Very nice dude. <laughs> Very nice guy. Uh, also, I always... I was not a Stigmata fan at the time that I was living in Albany. Now, reflecting on them, I see them doing, in the same way that you could say um, uh, uh, something like Integrity was so much on its own path, uh, really, Stigmata is, is very singular. Like, like it is on its own path and, and was coming out of like a very strange place, similar to Integrity in some ways. Yeah. Um, but anyway, everybody, if you like metal-influenced hardcore uh Listen to Stigmata. You should give Stigmata a, like a go. It. Yeah, you're gonna like it. Um, but uh, Bob Riley is a collector. Like he has everything. Yeah, really. It's like, oh, you want like pay to come? I got three versions of it. You want the antidote seven inch? Here's the one I got in 1984 outside of C- like it's crazy. And it's not just super the, interesting. It's and not he, just the classics. When he busts out stuff that I haven't current, heard of. Yeah. No, I haven't the stuff that I haven't heard wow. of. That like when Bob starts talking about like things, give me a, a shit city from fucking Jersey. That's <laughs> like there are the, no the bees thing. singles from uh, from fucking South Jersey. There you go. Like he has that. He, ha- he, he It's really impressive. Uh, yeah, so he's a big mech man. Fan and it, stuff like that, yeah. Yo, what did you make me listen to the other day from 1985? I don't remember. A Jersey, a Jersey band. AOD? No, 85 from New Jersey. Look Social it up. Okay. Um, not the Lethal Aggression. I think it is from, the Lethal from Aggression. From the Cunt of the Fucking Whore demo? Yes, okay. from the Cunt of the Fucking Whore d- d- demo. Uh, Pretty good. Uh, it, it is. Well, it like someone's coming in. It, it's, uh, from Bricktown. It's something. From Bricktown. Yeah. Might be listeners. Shout out. Bricktown's finest. Really? <laughs> no joke. It's, it's but they a, went to old Brick, so it's, whatever. It's something. We'll it's listen, to, we'll listen to it. Shout um, out to Ken's from Brick. Hope you're doing better by now. There you go. Howl mouth. Howl mouth. Howl mouth. Um, he lives in Brick now. But he does live in Brick. Don't die. Shout out to Heartcore, some uh, vegan vegetarian restaurant, I think, that just opened out in Chino Hills. <laughs> so we can get some of that California love back. Yeah. yeah. Um, follow your heart. Follow your heart, man. We got to get on that. We'll do a whole episode. Can uh, we take a road trip to the Amy's restaurant when we're in California? Yes. Oh yeah. It's in Bay, but I mean, it's, oh, that's yeah, a long trip. Fuck it. But fuck uh, it. yo, what we can do is we can get the uh, Beyond Meat uh, Del Taco. Mm. Fuck yeah! All right, that's what we're doing. We'll now. get we real sick. Out. You're real sick. <laughs> <laughs> You're passing on that one. Huh? Um, I'll be hanging with Haley at the Follow Your Heart Market. Oh, hey, can I get in there at the? Uh, hey, hey. Can, let's go. What, what what'd you say? Can I get in on this? Hey hey, can can I get in on this one, guys? Yeah, you you two can walk around the uh, the Pasadena Rose Bowl uh, uh, flea. F- flea market. Yeah. yeah, it is every second Sunday. 
You know, I hate her music. I'd walk around the Pasadena flea market with her. Of course. I bet she's interesting. I bet we we can buy belt buckles and knives and shit. Yeah, some cool vintage Like, if she hit you up and was like, want to go get some food? Would you go? Oh, yeah, sure. What if she starts talking to you about her music seriously? If she has to, you can't. Uh, That's true. Um, (laughs) No. What if she starts talking to you about her music seriously? Oh, that's tough, man. Do you, do you like... So the way anybody talks to you about something you don't want to hear about, you can be like, oh, yeah, all right, all right. Pass the popcorn. But then she's like, no, no. What do you think about my vocals on this new track? She starts playing you stuff. Come on, man. And like looks you in the face and mouths along to it. Yeah, like she's sort of singing part of it. And she's like, How, what would you do on this part? And you'd be uh, like, delete it. I'd say, yeah, I'd say I'd literally infuse any personality whatsoever. Uh, and then it gets to that weird point where she's like, yeah, yeah. And getting closer to your face. What do you do? Oh, I don't know. Is it like a lady in the tramp sort of thing? Are we supposed to kiss now? Yeah, all right, we can. Yeah. Why are we doing some weird fucking? <laughs> sure, sure. It's, it's yeah. like some Tumblr fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, we're shipping. We're shipping. We're, we're, we're shipping BK and. I don't Haley. know what that means. But uh, it's it's weird. in fandoms, yes. right? It is when you you create a relationship. The guy yes. in this room you that create a relationship yeah. between characters that aren't actually in relationships yes. on the thing that you are enjoying. So, like for example, Kirk and Spock. People yeah, ship, ship them, them. where they, they want them to be together. Mm-hmm. Like so, anytime oh. there's a sort of touching moment where Kirk's like, "Spock, you saved my life." Yeah, you sacrificed people everything like, for me. People right? put that into like a heart frame. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, it doesn't turn into like giving each other handjobs. Oh, sure, no, sure, it can. Sure. It it can. That's that, a dark alley that, that it turns that, down. That's called slash fic. Yeah, slash fic. Yeah. Or the what's the rule sixty three or whatever it is? The, well, I don't know. The whatever. No, that's the Star Wars thing. Uh, it's like the whatever whatever you think exists does exist on the internet. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, so. sure. You can find. Uh, there's a lot of yeah, slash fic about. Yeah, oh no, for sure. Mm. Yeah, we're not going to talk about the thing that we're not supposed to see on the internet today. There's, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it either. I can't. No. The assault in New Zealand. Yeah, no, yeah. but it's, but apparently it went it went everywhere. And yeah. what I thought was crazy was, oh, I'm like Twitter edgy guy, but I'm not in edgy circles because nobody no, nobody forwarded like, that to me. No. You know what I mean? Like that's not my. But the fact that it was like laid out in an eight chan or whatever the fuck that is, and yeah. like it was planned. Stop. Like people it was all out like that. Yeah. No. Well, was, and on Twitter and on sort of what Reddit. It, what what it was was. This guy, sorry for our listeners. Uh, it, this guy went to one of these, yeah, eight chan or whatever, yeah, and then said, "Hey, tune in to my thing at this time. I'm gonna give like a manifesto." And then he dropped like kind of things that made it look like a little clowny, like it would be entertaining for mm-hmm. people that wanted to watch a nut job. Oh, but then he was murdering people on fucking his Facebook. It was very and terrible. Gave a shout out to PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah. really odd. The the, cons- the conspiracies are blowing up about that. Uh, no, no, no. He's in he's in custody right now. Wow. Um, so this is very of the moment stuff, everybody. So we're talking all right, about. It. So, anyway. so despite all our joking around, uh, that's really heavy, yeah. We can so, jump back to Haley, uh, whatever. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know. <laughs> whatever. I'm an atheist, right. but right, God, fucking mighty. <laughs> yeah, no, please, it's White fucking terrible. Keep your shit to yourself. Yeah. I mean, this one was, th- and also there's a thing going around that I hope is not real. It was a uh, Australian politician acting in the worst fucking way. If it's real, it's like imagine like you know how like we think of our politicians as being very low class when they capitalize yeah. on a tragedy to be like sure. uh, this was one an Austra- I hope it's fabricated, but it's going around right now yeah. where an Australian politician was saying this is a tragedy, blah blah blah. The fourth paragraph, but at its root, this is because we've allowed Muslims into our community and whatever. And you uh, just you look at it and you're like, I hope, like, I hope this, this I hope that's fake. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because at this point, it might not be. It might not be. But anyway, all right. Let's let's close with a, a brighter story. Yeah, please. So I do have a story I can uh, read on here. There was a roadhouse named Saratoga Winners. Oh yeah, I've been there. It was kind Many of times. The, the city gardens of Albany, but not scary, just dirty. True. Yeah. It was a Troy Corps stronghold until the owner did an insurance fire. Oh, true. Yeah. Next day, people left flowers there. Holy fuck. They also had a benefit for Saratoga winners, but for the owner's legal bills. Uh, hold on. And what was it before? Was it a potato chip factory? Let's do it. Yes, it was something exactly like a potato chip factory. Uh, it looked like it created balsa wood for the purpose of starting fires. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he, he, here's uh, it, I'm going to do something wild on this podcast. If you didn't start an insurance fire, I want you to sue me. My name is Patrick Kinlan. <laughs> if and we're gonna do, we're gonna do Roger Clemens right here. <laughs> we're we're, 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 we're going to do the Roger Clemens, uh, owner of Saratoga Winners. If you did not do 
a, an insurance fire. Patrick Kinlan is saying you did. He's trying to get in there with his pops. <laughs> Just pa- being Patrick Kinlan is saying you did. So, <laughs> so sue me if that's not the case. Right. Because I'd love to see what comes out in Discovery. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just for fun. Like, like, I'd love it. Shelter played there, and Ray wore a Chicago Bears jersey, and people wouldn't let it go. So he took it off, and someone took it and slinked away, and people cheered. <laughs> also fun to see Mackie from Chromax playing sideways. What? Yeah, he did. Because it was so small. Well, no, because he. this is a story that I always heard. So yeah. he was in Shelter at yeah. the time. He hated Ray so much. He didn't oh, want to don't. look at him. Oh, that's so interesting. So he played away from him so he wouldn't look at him. Because we all thought it was just a cool thing. I mean, it's fucking cool. <laughs> I mean, because anything that dude does is fucking cool. Yeah, that's true. That's but true. I, that was what I had always heard was that he was like so not down with the dudes that he was just like, I'm not looking at these motherfuckers. That would oh, be weird. funny if that was the case. Because I think I, I saw them at Irving Plaza on that mm-hmm. tour, and I'm pretty sure he played backwards. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> And they ended with We Gotta Know with, with, J, with JJ. Oh, wow. This is 1995. Did he turn the kid around? Like, okay. Like, I kind of like this guy. He probably hated them at that point. <laughs> this was Axe to Grind. Thanks, yes, everybody. Thank Good you, night. everybody. Kind of, yeah, sort of.